dude. Chat. I f I'm fucked up, dude. My voice, my, uh, I got, I'm getting a throat cold. It's finally happening. I've been, I've been so powerful for too long that it finally, it's finally happening. I'm dying. They finally caught me. The, they got me. It's my seasonal cold I get every spring. This finally caught me. I thought I could avoid it. thought I could, but now I'm gonna fucking die. And by fucking die, I mean the stream is gonna be like, possibly shorter. Because I'm dying. Because I wanna stream all week, and if I wanna stream all week, I cannot go longer than a certain time, or I will never stream again. So, this is like a, this is like a, give me like a three hour stream, maybe three hours, cause I want to do VR. In the next couple days. I want my voice for that. So. Dude, it is funny. Sometimes when I like give the. <laughs> when I tell people it's going to be a shorter stream. It, it, some people. Some people like give me permission to do it. <laughs> I'm like. I'm like, no, you don't understand. <laughs> you know. It's okay. You can take a three hour stream. No, I didn't. <laughs> no, you, I'll allow it. It's okay. I'll allow it. Just this once, though. Don't get any bright ideas that you're going to be doing this all the time. Do you have a doctor's note? What? I said, do you have a doctor's note? Do you have a doctor's note to be taking that taking that short stream? Hmm? Hmm, Jackass? You got your doctor's note? Uh... <laughs> you, will be re you will be receiving reduced pay this month. Unsubscribes. I'll resubscribe next month when you've earned it. Dude, I played uh I played more of that Minecraft mod yesterday while I was resting my voice. I don't know if you guys noticed from like Godforged people that watch that. Uh I was fucking quiet because my voice hurt so fucking bad, dude. It's been bad. It's been pretty bad out here, uh, but um, I was playing my. <laughs> Wait, I can cancel my sub at any time. Lol. True, <laughs> true. Not wrong, dude. But do you know how to do it in a convenient way that doesn't require more than two clicks? Because I'm assuming that's all the effort you or anyone is truly willing to put into it. No, I do not. There you go. <laughs> There you go. You're locked in forever. Never look at how many months you've been subscribed, because then you'll do the math and feel bad. Never ever, never ever count. Fuck. Fuck. Shit, can't leave. The door's locked. It's locked behind two buttons. Wait, you mean we don't have to subscribe? Oh, no. If you want to get the real experience, you do. Anytime I pause, that's me making a bunch of really loud fucking fart sounds that only the unsubscribed people... Actually, I guess this joke doesn't really land because there are enough unsubscribed people that someone can say, nah, there are no fart sounds on this side. I wish I could do two separate streams and one stream is just subjectively better. <laughs> at the same time so that everyone has to fucking like get like the you have to pay or you just get the bad version but I guess the bad version is the one with five minutes of ads running every 30 minutes and Twitch already does that on the house for me Power lap and thanks for the 10 gifted subs baby there it is baby thank you ew ads dude I never get ads here for some reason. Just install like an ad blocker, dude. Like, it's not. <laughs> there are definitely ones that work with Twitch. Between you and me. Between you and me. 
Rest assured, I don't make any money off of you watching my ads. I don't make fucking anything. So, not saying you should, but I am saying I wouldn't notice if you didn't watch them. I literally make like $2 a month off of the ads. <laughs> <laughs> Guys, please. Please? Please. But yeah. I end up playing more of that Minecraft mod pack. Uh, I'm actually talking, I might end up doing my second attempt with uh, in multiplayer with Dave. I was just talking to him about it. But, um, we, th I, I have, I have made peace with the fact that Mine Colonies is not something I could ever stream. Um, good news is there's a version of the pack that doesn't include that. Uh, it cuts that part of the content out. So, I'd probably just do that one on a server if I was going to do it and get rid of the Mine Colonies mechanics entirely. Because they're just too grindy. They're way too grindy. Too much micromanagement, I, I have like set up a colony and oh my god. Those bastards need so many stairs from me all the time. I swear I give them as many stairs as the game says they need. And then I think they break some. <laughs> They'll be like, yeah, we're gonna need 18,000 stairs to finish this big staircase you want built. And then I'll give them exactly 18,000 and you'll see them pick up a stack and just dump it all into like a big pool of lava and say, we're gonna need 12,000 more stairs. We lost a lot. We lost 12,000 of them. Just there. It's been rough. It's like, I just want, I, and it's so bad in the Minecraft mod thing because of how many fuck, and you wanna know what's the worst monster in this fucking mod pack? It's not the harpies, it's not anything. It's the fucking green slimes. Because I'll tell you one, I'll tell you what. <laughs> the last thing you want to be fucking hassled by 24 seven while you're doing like minor busy work for these colonists is tiny green slimes hopping on you. Forever and ever and ever. They never fucking stop. Ever. I actually fucking legit almost lost my mind. I like, I, I ended up completely giving up. I mean, I'm still playing, but like I gave up on doing the colony thing yet. Cause I was like, until I get like the thing that lets me like keep monsters from spawning ever and never approaching me in this area, I can't do it because the slime will always run up to me and bonk me in the back as I'm trying to like place things on the ground. Like I genuinely cannot, all I hear in my, it's like Mr. Krabs with those squeaky rubber shoes. All I hear is <coughs> as like a slime jumps at me. I hear thousands of it. Across a field I can fucking hear them a quarter mile away. And at this point I just turn and run towards it to kill it before it gets to me. The amount of slimes that have died by my sword, unbelievable. <laughs> the squeak! It's awful. It's fucking terrible. $10,000 gaming headset. Dude, look, here's the thing. On the current game I'm playing on the pack now, I'm not playing hardcore because I, I want to take it a little bit easier and learn it. So if I do choose to do another character a little bit deeper in on another save, I won't be, you know, question marking again when I get two hours in and get one shot by another thing. So I'm playing a little more chill and I'll tell you what, most of the time I just play it muted while I'm doing the colony stuff because I'm listening to a podcast in the background and just getting bonked for like a half a heart every fucking 30 seconds. You know what I mean? <laughs> you know what I mean? You know what I mean? I just can't live like that anymore. Sounds like playing Dying Light. 
dude, I did not play through any. I bought Dying Light 2, played it for like a half an hour before I even got like the real parkour stuff and stopped playing it because other things came out. But I played a lot of Dying Light 1 after we did like the co-op stuff we did do on stream. And holy hell, man. You can't walk two seconds in that game without a big horde of really fast zombies going and running at you. I can't live like that. Is there a Slime Rancher mod for Minecraft? Dude, when's Slime Rancher 2 coming out? Who gives a fuck about Minecraft? Minecraft sucks. When, where, where is, I know they announced Slime Rancher 2. When's that actually coming out, though? Because I just don't fucking care about anything else. Actually, I'll be real. The end of the month is fucking packed for stuff I'm going to be streaming. There's, there's so many fucking things coming out at the end of this month. It's going to be like two weeks of backlogged stuff. It's just that right now we're in like the fucking calm before the storm and there's nothing. That's why I'm like scraping the barrel with whatever this garbage is. I don't fucking care what happens to these hippos. I just fucking don't. Warframe update. Dude. Look, here's the thing. I think Warframe's a good game. I never stream it. That's like, that's like a path of exile adjacent shame of mine is that I would play it off stream and enjoy myself for like a little bit and then be like, and that's enough forever. Warframe is a chore to watch. You act like you have to. You, you describe that like it is a requirement of yours to watch Warframe. I just fucking have to. <laughs> I can't look away. I would never stream that. Ever. Though I do want to... I'm still waiting on streaming Revengeance. I was going to stream it this week, but then Boone did it before me. So I'm streaming yesterday night, and I don't want to... I don't want to step into his lane. So I'm going to wait a little bit longer. I got to play Vanquish. I know it's another one that's like pretty similar to Warframe that I have not played. Isn't that one on PC now? Didn't they like put Vanquish onto PC? Don't I like not have an excuse anymore? Cause it used to only be on like old. Yeah, it's on PC now. Maybe one day. Maybe one day. I don't know if that is a streamer game, but Revengeance definitely is. Revengeance is like a Revengeance is a fucking... I may actually legit, because I played a lot of Revengeance, and I was very good at it when I was younger. I may end up, like, doing the thing where you put in, like, a console code. You put in, like, the Konami code on, like, the start screen or whatever, and, like, unlock the maximum difficulty right away and play it on the hardest one. Like, right off the bat. I'm fairly confident I could do it. I vaguely remember that being something you could do. There's harder than hard? Yeah. There's one level hard. Look, cause here's here's the barrier for entry for Revengeance, and it's knowing that the it's understanding how ridiculously fucking OP that parry is and being able to time it right. Like you can get through a lot of that game after you get used to how the parrying works. And it never really fucking took me very long to get used to it. Time it, you mean spam it? Yeah. Yeah. The same way people time their parries in Sekiro. Wink. <laughs> the same way people actually carefully time their parries. I see you wiggling. I see your fucking wiggle. I see- I, I can hear the button. Click, 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 click. Please! I'm more of a roll guy. Just like Assassin's Creed. Anyone? Yeah, Assassin's Creed's different because that game sucks. Its combat sucks. 
No one played the old Assassin's Creed games for their fucking like challenge. There was they were basically an interactive movie. Like that and they were and I loved the old ones. The first two mainly. But they were an interactive movie. The stealth was non-existent. The combat was effortless. But you played them so you could feel like a fucking demigod. I couldn't get at that one building in AC1. Dude, same! I don't know what building you're talking about, but I want you to feel like I'm not, like, that you're not, like, alone out here in this place. So, same, dude, same. Also couldn't get up it. Same, dude. I want another loathing game. I think they're making like a city based game. I saw like, I saw the dev of West of Loathing like post a picture of like some screenshot recently. But not recently, recently, but like months ago. So who knows? I'm not, a, look, when it comes to games that rely on comedy, take your fucking time. <laughs> Truly take your time, please. I don't. It's a lot harder to rush writing than it is to rush, like, gameplay stuff. I don't want cringe. I want Battle Brothers 2. Uh, I'm fine with them to just keep adding expansions for Battle Brothers. For now. I'm fine with that. Damn! Sorry, I was just like coughing. Yeah. Whenever I like I I I, I and to be clear, I am fine. Like I've got I've got a throat cold. Uh, that is that is really crusting me up the last couple of days. I've taken my like tests and things already, uh, but I get one like once a year, and uh, usually it escalates all the way up to where it has escalated again, which is, I got I'm coughing up like, <laughs> not to be gross here, but like I got like I got I got some red in there, dude, and it happens once a year. So I do have to remember to like not go too late tonight. The rot. <laughs> no, it's like I feel I don't even like my voice isn't even that bad, but it's like it hurts when I'm not talking. If that's that sounds like weird, like it hurts when I'm not talking. Uh but usually I get better within a couple of days. It just it happens like once a year. I remember it happening around the same time last year. Are you sure it's not green? <laughs> He's coughing up slime. He's coughing up green slime and ooze. He's got ectoplasm throat. <laughs> Normalize coughing up blood. Come on, guys. In 2022, it's normal. We do this all the time now. <laughs> ah. I shouldn't be drinking coffee. I do know that. I do know the one thing that's not good for recovering my, like, throat is drinking acidic caffeine coffee. But, here I am. I already made the drink. I'm going to fucking drink it. Tea, though? Yeah, I'll drink tea later tonight. When I'm, like, after stream. When I'm resting. Dude, but I had to, like, go out today with this, like, with my throat as it is. To finish my taxes. Dude, I felt like a real champ today. Because this is the first time I've, like, done my... Well... That I haven't done my taxes, quote unquote, as in I paid someone else to do it for me. And hey, 
This doesn't apply to everyone, because I know when it comes to W-2s, specifically, taxes are not that bad in comparison. Hey, if you're someone that works in uh, my industry or in an industry adjacent to mine where you get a lot of multiple income streams, get an actual accountant. Oh my God. <laughs> I put it off for like fucking six years. Just get an actual accountant. Jesus Christ. If you're like self-employed, get an actual accountant. Like, just get one. It took me like fucking... All I, I, I had like two things I had to do. I like sent them everything and then I walked in today and gave them like my bank info. And then walked out with like a... Like my bundle to keep and they were like, will you take care of everything else? Get out! Because they're like, you know, at this point extremely sleep deprived because they've been doing taxes for the last week straight because everyone waits until the last minute to file their taxes, even with accountants. So they they switched from, like, normal hours to, like, psycho hours for, like, a week straight, and I feel so bad. <laughs> Walking in there, it was like a war zone, dude. It was like a war zone at my place. Like, they're, like, stumbling over papers. They, look like, they all look like zombies. Oh, yeah, no, they made bank off of me, dude. Like, I don't feel that bad when I know how much they're making, but I still feel kind of bad. Wrong, I do it ASAP so I get my money back quicker. That's why I said self-employed people, because I can tell you one thing for sure, unless you're paying a fucking mint in quarterlies, you're not getting any money back. <laughs> you are giving the IRS your money. When tax season. Chat, I will, n until the day I die, I may never get another dollar back from the IRS that wasn't like an accident. Okay? Till the day I fucking die, the day they bury me, I will never get another check from the IRS that isn't like them, like, giving me like 30 cents as a joke. You've got a refund, says on the letter, open it, 30 cents. Cool. Neato. Take it now. Can't wait to have the IRS to audit me. Dude, here's the thing. Again. Get an accountant before that happens. Because then if you get audited, that's now like partly your accountant's responsibility as well. And they're much pro they're probably much better at handling it than you would be. I just hate myself in all honesty. Damn man, you really want like you're playing on hardcore mode, dude. You're playing on hardcore mode, man. You good? I want to punish myself for something. Just wanna, I just want to punish myself. I'm not getting the accountant. <laughs> I don't. <laughs> Hardcore drop everything on death. Started in the womb. <laughs> True. True. Punish yourself by playing Dota instead of getting audited. Dude, I like I liked playing Dota back when it like first fucking came out, but I haven't played it in a thousand years. The only thing I do know is that some of my friends tried to play it like on competitive or something, like a couple months back, and they got bodied so fucking hard they went back to League. Like they picked up League instead and they never they never looked back. It it was sad. Back to the kiddie pool. Look, look, man. I of the of the mobas I would prefer to watch. I prefer League a thousand times. I like the visuals of it way more than LOL. Dota mechanics are kind of crusty, though, dude. Every moba I would say. MOBAs are by nature a crusty genre that I am baffled is as popular as it is. They all, 
They all got a little bit of crust to them, dude. They're all kind of a little crusty. And that's okay. Like, I I play crusty. I don't know if you've noticed what's on screen. Crust is, like, part of my whole deal. I can tolerate a lot of crust, but it's undeniable that MOBAs are pretty crusty. I'm not saying it's a bad thing, but they are crusty. I'm surprised how popular MOBAs are. Well, think about it like this. Visually taking it in, MOBAs give you all the information you need without like total sensory overload. A lot of other games don't really do that in the same way. MOBAs are accessible visually and they're free for the most part. So that's why they're very good for spectating. Like you understand exactly what is happening for the most part. Uh, and there's depth for the people that want it, but otherwise you see thing get hit, it die. But like, it's not like a shooter where like, you know, not everyone wants to see people get gunned down in sports stuff. So obviously MOBAs became a somewhat more appealing, like MOBAs and fighting games became more appealing than like fucking esports leagues for like CSGO and like the grand scheme. I wish more flashy games like Titanfall could be competitive. Look, I think the flashiest game that's competitive that deserves it is Rocket League. I think one of the most fun esport leagues to watch is fucking... I don't watch a lot of esports, but... Rocket League uh, is a fun one. I'll watch anyone play Rocket League. I could watch GeoGuessr streams forever. <laughs> Dude, nothing gets me going like seeing a bunch of professional cartographers get dropped down in the middle of fucking Detroit and pick what street they're on. <laughs> That'd be cool eSports League, dude. Fuck you! What are you getting? What are you mad? What are you mad now? Hey, tomato, wanna play Blockland? What the fuck is Blockland? Voice box. I swore off all games, including blocks, after I got cut down in my prime yesterday or last stream. I just don't play any anymore. I'm done with them. What is Blockland? I, I shit you not, chat. I, I'm not trying to, I'm not trying to be mean to Blockland, but when I typed it in on Steam, I typed in Block Bland automatically. Like that's what, that's what I punched in. So maybe I don't, maybe my brain already knows. <laughs> <laughs> My, my brain might already be locked on. Blockland! Blockland is a non-linear sandbox game with no set goals. That, honestly, that's like... At this point in my life... Any sandbox game that doesn't say... That says, and no set goals, just pisses me off. Because... Everyone knows you can add like some end game stuff. That just means they didn't put an end game in. That means they didn't bother. That pisses me off every time now. He hates Kenshi. There's nothing to do in the game. <laughs> he hates Dwarf Fortress. Dude. Minecraft has set goals. You don't have to follow them, but they're there if you want them. The premium, the premium crafting game has them.
have to set my own goals and RP my own win. Dude, that's like maybe the fucking... And one, I respect that. Two, that sounds sad as hell. <laughs> that sounds... That sounds sad AF, dude. Dude, I won Blockland yesterday. No, you didn't. That's impossible. No, I RP'd it. I RP'd my own win. Because they didn't add one. I RP'd it. I won. I beat... I defeated the Dark Lord. An RP. <laughs> Birthdays are just RP winning another year of living. I don't know. I wouldn't say simply reaching your birthday quantifies a win. That's a that's a pretty low bar, isn't it? I would argue that the only way you win is by somehow managing to create a like a time a, a time bubble where you where time proceeds to pass around you but you never have another birthday again. All right, I think I think that's I think that's the only way you win a birthday because I don't want to get any older. I want to be alive, but I don't. Ideally, I don't really want more. I don't want any more of what's been going on with my whole deal. I just gesture to my entire body, but I don't want to die. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like I'm I'm in the realm where I think the only way you win a birthday is by uh, being rolled in in like a computer like you are on a computer monitor you uploaded your entire consciousness to the world wide web and you confirmed that this birthday you uploaded yourself online and became a digital being at that point I'll go ah yes that person just won their birthday they beat the game they did it I turn off the electricity. But you don't understand. If they're on the World Wide Web, you'd have to go and you'd have to get to the big switch. You'd have to go all the way to the... All the way to the top secret military base. And turn off the big switch. The big electric switch. That turns off all power for the whole planet. You'd have to break into the internet factory and spill water all over the internet in order to kill them. Which I would argue sounds harder than, like, it sounds much harder than if they were a human and you could just grab, like, a big stick and, you know what I mean? Like, I would argue it's harder to drive, because most people, the amount of effort someone's willing to put in almost anything is, like, measured typically by how far they're willing to drive to do something and if something was like two miles away, if the factory was like two miles away, they might be like, okay, I can do that. But if it was like 20, that's my limit. I'm not going farther than 20, 25 miles to off anyone if I was like forced to. I would like, I would, I'd rather just die than, tr than drive 20 miles to do anything, really. It's 30 miles for me to get to a McDonald's. What the fuck is your deal, dude? Holy shit. <laughs> That's rough. I had to go over 20 miles every day to get to school growing up. Damn. That's a lot of gas. That sucks eggs. Why didn't you simply give up? <laughs> and like escape into the woods one day.
I mean, it sounds like they already were there. Yeah, but they were still... They were still being held down by the man. That's why they were still going to school. Look, dude, here's the thing. By the time... <laughs> By the time that I have offspring, which is what I choose to describe them as rather than children, by the time that I, <laughs> I have offspring, uh, <laughs> uh, there will be certainly. And this is no, this is not a, this is not a, this is not a throwback to cryptocurrency. That 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 ship has sailed. But I will say that realistically, there will probably be. Uh, viable enough online education options that uh, there's no fucking way I'm sending one of my kids to one of those disgusting elementary schools. I just won't fucking do it. If there's like a if there's like an online option, I just won't fucking do it. Not because I don't, not because I think they'll be like miserable, but because I know how fucking disgusting children are, and I know that my disgusting child will then somehow bring diseases back to the fucking house, like a disgusting fucking animal, and I'll get sick like every day. So that's just not happening. It's either they get homeschooled or they go to boarding school. <laughs> I, I'm not gonna do this exchange shit. <laughs> like we're not, we're not gonna, we're not gonna let the child <laughs> go like fishing for germs every day. I just won't allow it. <laughs> you just can't. You can't. Every time I see my niece and now nephew, I come back contracting typhoid. You got the virus. Look, no one can deny. Have you ever seen, have you? I don't think I've ever seen one child in my entire fucking life wash their hands properly. They do that little like, what, like their hands are wet and they just like slide them together for a second. I, like they just don't do it. Like, I, I fear children so much because I'm only now in the last two years so conscious of just how fucking vile they all are. Like, here's the thing. I kind of support, like, you know how, you know how those like jokes about like, oh, this, this was like, this kid grew up in a bubble. But here's the thing. Here's the thing. All right. Maybe the bubble isn't to keep out the germs. Maybe it is to keep in the germs, their germs, from us. When I am elected president, once the children have completed their obligatory seven years inside the crypto brain mines, they, they will be placed in comically sized children hamster balls and they will roll everywhere. They will roll everywhere until their germs have been contained for good. I will represent all humanity in protecting us from the disgusting beings. <laughs> uh, I'm right. Anyone that disagrees is a sicko. That likes germs. Dude. And like, here's the thing. A lot of the people like complaining literally aren't children. Literally are not. And have no business complaining on their behalf. Okay. If any child wants to debate me on this topic, frankly, I will, I welcome them. <laughs> I will, I will handily, like, just dispatch in a debate pretty much any child that comes up to face me in a debate. I will handily destroy them. <laughs> so brave. <laughs> this guy can debate up to 500 babies. <laughs> what can I say? <laughs> Tomato is RPing his win. 
uh, it's just like, it's, look, here's the thing. I'm not saying I'll ever run for any kind of political office, but it would be really fun to kind of like just sort of float around the idea and then watch as news outlets find all these old clips of me and like just, just have a ball. Have a ball in this space, dude. Because, like, damn, I've left them a gold mine. I've left them a fucking gold mine. I doubled down. <laughs> Chad, that's the thing is that uh, too many people, when they do some, when they say something insane, you know, walk it back a little bit and say like, "Oh, that was taken out." What, what, what if? What if? What if? When someone confronts me about it, I say, "And I have done the math on how much, how many fucking like, how many dollars from our U.S. citizens it would cost to properly put every child into a bubble." And it's exactly this much. And dude, once you put the numbers down, that's when it's no longer just imagination. That's when it's possible that it could become reality. And the children are gonna pay for those bubbles, Jack. The children will pay for those bubbles. That I can tell you. <laughs> With their allowance. Oh, oh man. Seventh Sun, thanks for the five gifted subs. Thank you, thank you. <laughs> oh man. This intro's too much for my bad voice. Chat, it really is. I gotta like cough so bad, but it's gonna be like a fucking five minute break if I do. Like it's gonna be like a fucking 30 second minimum silence straight. I, I like, dre I muted, I did it. But I like, there's like a fucking moment of like 10 seconds where I'm also staring at my mixer to make sure there's no sound coming out. Cause I just, the idea that anyone hears what comes out of my mic into your ears. I wouldn't blame every single one of you for leaving. <laughs> if like, if someone, if my mic was unmuted and everyone just heard the sounds I was making in order to make my voice function again. I wouldn't blame you if it was a ghost town when I came back. I just wouldn't. I wouldn't care. It'd be, it'd make sense. Oh, I started watching a really good show yesterday. Uh, I'm only like two episodes in, so don't spoil anything. But, um, I started watching, uh, Severance. That Severance show? It's pretty good. It's not bad. I really like it. You could stream using your mind to, and use text to speech. I don't want to do that. Text to speech streams are cursed. Is it good so far? I'm only like two episodes in, but I've been. I like weird shows like that. It's it's very unique. I like it a lot. It's great. It's on like Apple TV, which I mean, the only other thing I've watched on Apple TV was Ted Lasso. So, I mean, I'm happy to have another show that I want to watch on it that like uh, justifies my forgotten subscription that I've had on it since Ted Lasso season two ended, even for just a second. It maybe makes you feel a tiny bit better about all the money I've given Apple accidentally over the last couple months. You know? <clears throat> now, I'm not saying there are other shows on Apple TV that are, like, that aren't good. Like, there's, like, there, there's not, like, other really good ones. Just I haven't watched any others. 
Imagine paying Apple. I would say Severance is worth paying money to watch. Same way I would have said that about Ted Lasso. I wouldn't, I would say that uh, the problem with subscription services is the same problem there is with like Twitch and it's that like <coughs> you, and mo every subscription everywhere on the entire planet is that you subscribe for something and then you forget to unsubscribe and that's, wh that's where they make the majority of their money. It's not from like active users, it's from people forgetting that they are paying for a product. Man, I pay for a lot of subscriptions I do not fucking use. Ever. Dude. Ever. Dog brain, thanks for the gifted sub. Thank you. Thank you, thank you. <clears throat> oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, there's no way I make it past three hours today. There's <laughs> just no way. Oh, my voice. It's already bad, but I really want to stream through the week. Because I've got, like, something... I got something on Wednesday that might, like, mess up me being able to stream. So I gotta make sure I, like, stream a good bit beforehand. My body is fucking falling apart. <sighs> so one hour of gameplay. I would say this intro was funny enough to warrant existing and being long despite the gameplay possibly being shorter. I've done my job. I've done my job. Don't forget to cancel your Free Realms subscription. What the fuck is Free Realms? <clears throat> is that something that I actively have on record subscribed to? An old MMO. Dude, I don't need... You see, the only way that I remember to unsubscribe from things is when there's a public outrage about it. <laughs> I can rest assured that I do not currently have an, uh, uh, an outstanding subscription to um, World of Warcraft. <laughs> I know that for sure. That one I nailed. Like, that one got taken care of bop. More companies need to have public outrages so that I can remember to sever my money streams to them. Because otherwise they quietly get my money because I just forget. The amount of money, and I'm not saying I want them to have a public outrage. Because of, because that'd be insane. But, Final Fantasy, and I remember it almost monthly, is still to this day just getting so much of my money, and I haven't played it in an expansion and a half. And I just, uh, their whole deal on their website to cancel subscriptions is so fucking ugly and gross that it actually is pain to my body and eyes. And I cannot get to the cancel thing. I'm, te I'm more tempted to cancel my entire bank account that it's connected to because, like, can I, I might just cut it all off. Like, cr skip over the canceling of the credit card it's attached to and just kill off the whole account before I cancel the fucking subscription on their website. Oh my god. <laughs> how they win. That's how they win. New game by the Boneworks devs being teased in the meta showcase on Wednesday. Ew, dude. Meta? <laughs> dude, is that gonna be for an exclusive on the Oculus Quest? <laughs> Facebook is the worst thing to f- uh, I can't, I just can't say that. And one, I'm not, I'm never going to describe them as meta. I'm always going to call them Facebook because they can't fool me. Okay, I don't fucking care. Um, they're simultaneously the worst and best thing to happen to VR in the market because they're the only big name supporting VR. And VR devs, but I fucking hate them. <laughs> but I still hate them anyways. Valve? Valve made one game. Facebook is actively, like, supporting devs publishing stuff on their platform. Valve is not. There's a difference. Valve made a game. Facebook is 
like sort of supporting devs making stuff on it. And they've made many actually publicly affordable headsets for people to play in VR. Unlike Valve's Index, which is never actually on sale, and when it is, it costs a thousand dollars. Hate Facebook as much as you fucking want. I do too. They're the only people that are trying to make VR actually accessible to a market, which is good for the industry, even if I think they suck so, so bad. But don't worry, Bed says Valve Index 2 is any day now. Yeah, right. Yeah, right. But yeah, I get bad. Look, here's the thing. I'm I'm quite justified in saying that Facebook is a piece of shit and also good for the industry because I watched what happened to Onward when Onward wanted to put themselves on Facebook stuff because that's where the player base is right now for VR. Um, They killed the game for it. VR games don't make a lot of money, so getting it onto Facebook platforms and the Quest is how you make money being a VR dev. Uh... Which is depressing because it means that a lot of the best VR games that have really pushed the envelope for, like, the index and stuff are backpedaling because they have to make a game that is supported on much weaker versions of hardware. It's like how games right now are still making stuff that supports PS4 and Xbox One because... That's where the market still is. There's not enough availability of the newer consoles to justify making... To, for most people to justify making an exclusive to newer console games. It sucks, dude. The thing is, Index is still selling really well. It's selling really well because there's... Because they just sell one every single time there's one on sale. If they had an actual surplus of it, I'm not sure if it would be selling as well. It's, it's like, the problem is that it's impossible to tell how well it would be doing if it was actually available the way it should be. You know? The Steam Deck is selling better, though. Dude. I vaguely, I, I feel like, and I don't even remember if I ordered one. I feel like one's just going to show up in my mailbox at some point. I'm going to be so fucking confused. Like, a part of my brain is like, did you knee-jerk buy one a year ago? And I'm just worried you'd get an email. I don't fucking read those. You shit on it, though. I know, but I shit on many things. And then change my mind after months. Because that's what humans do. So who knows? My opinion can be changed over time, believe it or not. So maybe. I can't remember. That's allowed? It's allowed. You can legally do that. Imagine ever changing an opinion after making one. When I become president, there will be no more opinion changing. You will have to submit your official opinion on a subject and stand on that side. <laughs> no more flip-flopping. <laughs> no more character growth either. My stance is that I should be allowed to change my stance. Get that guy and throw him in jail for life. Put him in the mines. Every movie will have one good guy and one bad guy.
This also means you may never vote for someone else again, thus enshrining the Tomato Dynasty forever. Forever. <laughs> if I win once, I'm in forever, baby. <laughs> As it should be. As it should be. Tomato Town Dynasty Krungo. <sighs> the problem is that, Chad, if I tried to run for any kind of political office, Tomato Fortnite would immediately run opposing me and win and thrash me and totally disgrace me in front of everyone. So what's the point? Every time I try to go to a new platform to like cash in on like the new hot thing, I get an email from Tomato Fortnite's representatives and they say that if I even bother, he's gonna make one and just thrash me again. So, I just don't. I've been boxed in. Tomato Fortnite is streaming animals now. <laughs> I'm not even streaming the game Animal. I mean, I guess my the display on stream says that, but that's not the game. It's called Animal Revolt. The animals are fighting back. Time to make your own platform. Yeah, yeah. Why don't I simply make my own platform? Yeah. The Tomatoverse. Tomatogaming.com legally can't have that. Uh, that's being held by some shithead fucking, like, internet, like, distribution, like, uh, URL thing that's trying to, because they know I'm, a, like, a streamer that makes money, they're trying to charge me, like, $20,000 to get it. So they can suck my dick. <laughs> I, 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 I laughed in their face when they emailed me about it. I was like, I actually like got in an email chain about it and then wasted their time for a while because I was laughing the whole time because I was like, you know, I, no one fucking uses websites anymore. You know that, right? I laughed at them. Has it gone down? Oh, it's probably gone down because I laughed at them. <laughs> they, they emailed me and they were like, we're going to offer you it for $20,000, and I was like, ha, 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 I'll pay you nothing for it, ever, goodbye. And then they were probably like, oh, well, this is worthless now. <laughs> well, shit. <laughs> if he's not going to pay us, no one else is going to want that website, not for any amount of money. That's funny. That's always funny. They thought you'd care. And I was like, what the fuck? Dude, my my brand is is liquid. You know, I can go any way with it that I want. It'll just slide over there, no problem. Big load, huge I could get a website called I don't want to get a website called Huge Load. I think anything with load is gonna cause brand issues as far as a website is concerned. <laughs> Because you can't Google that. <laughs> you just can't. You just can't. So. Yeah. Yeah, I don't think so. Huge <laughs> I could get involved in that industry. The options are there. I just tried Googling it. You are correct. Brave. Yeah, I won't be. I won't be checking either. Chad, I'm going to go to the bathroom and then we're going to play this animal game. Okay. 
should last just a little bit. Uh, once again, my voice is really fucked up today. So I want to do like a kind of like one-off thing. So if I end up, I'm not setting like a, oh, I'm going to stop at this time, but I'm going to go as long as my voice will allow before I'm like, oh yeah, I got to stop before I fuck my voice up bad. So we'll go to the bathroom and we'll start up. We're right back. Oh yeah, Joe announced uh, the new D&D campaign I'm going to be in on Fridays. Don't worry, it shouldn't affect streams very much. But um, I did find it funny because uh, when he posted the trailer, it, uh, it, it, it got... I, I <laughs> It's just funny because my character next to everyone else, it's like, yeah, who do you fucking think I'm playing? Am I playing one of the four humans or am I, pl am I playing the fucking tree freak? <laughs> Who's this jackass in the corner? I cannot play a normal person. I can't just play like one normal thing. I always gotta play like the freak. <laughs> I gotta play like the mascot freak asshole. That <laughs> I can't. I truly can't play anything else. McGoat.elite, thanks for the 20. Gifted subs, thank you very much. Thank you very much. All right. Tomato's the merch character of the group. Look, I know how to make iconic characters. I don't know what to say. I'm pretty. I'm pretty good at making weird concepts for like D and D guys. And there's that 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 new one's one of my favorites. Wow, this game's got a visual look. Hang on, I'm turning it on. This game? This game's got a look. <laughs> this is overwhelmingly positive reviews on Steam, by the way. Like, I know you're like, all like, hee hee, it's a mobile game. Dude. This game's $15 and has overwhelmingly positive reviews at like 97%. So I don't care what this game's visual display is. Something about it underneath the hood has to be good. <laughs> Not, I don't think it's memes on this one. It just came out of early access. Overwhelmingly positive of two reviews. Look, when it comes to free games, stuff can be memed. I thought that fish game was kind of beans, and that was overwhelmingly positive, but it was free. When it comes to games that people have to pay real money to play, usually it's fairly consistent. Usually it ends up becoming something... We're gonna do the tutorial. Sandbox-based... Ba welcome to the... Is this like a video? No, 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 I don't care. I, just, I don't want to do that. There is a basic tutorial here. Is that a monkey with the, is that gorilla pointing a gun? Hey, like finger guns? Look, we'll just, tutorial one. We'll just do, we'll get through the tutorial and figure out how this game. Start button to begin the battle. Click the left mouse button on the gorilla to select it. Right mouse button on the flag to me. Oh, you can actually control the gorillas in this. So chat, the entire game is based off of you playing gorillas and telling them to move places. Okay. Well, a uh, start. Gorilla, move there. Oh my God. <laughs> is, 
why don't you walk like a gorilla? <laughs> why, are you, why is he walking like a like a like a like a like a guy at the gym that just got finished like doing weights? Just Chad walking. Whatever. Next tutorial. Select all those fine looking men by holding the left mouse button, dragging the rectangle. Okay, it's it's RTS stuff right now. We're at RTS stuff. Oh, men! Get to that flag by any means necessary, men! What do you do when you see a collection of men like this fucking running down your fence? <laughs> Look at them go, my boys. Have they made it? Victory. That's victory right there. Okay, well. That's just a couple of big guys. I, I think I get it. All those poor dinosaurs are blind and immobile. Select all your archers and right click on the dinosaurs to shoot them. Really? That feels kind of... It was kind of messed up, honestly, with the context of them being blind. Look, some of them look more evil than others. Oh, look at him! Look at him! I don't want to hurt this one. This one, this one kind of gives me, like, stupid uh, parrot vibes, though. I don't like, I've never liked Triceratopses. They give me, like, stupid parrot vibes. You know what I mean? But this one's cute. But I, I don't like I don't like those idiots. You're wrong. You're stupid. You're you're dumb. All right. <laughs> Shit. All right. I I've got an army of what looks to be eighteen shaggies with bows. All right, boys. Light them up, starting with the parrot. They're not immobile. They're not immobile! They're not immobile! They're... Okay. It's fucking dead. They lit that thing up. Uh... Get those ones next. <gasps> no! No! Jesus! Some of them are shooting their own guys in the back, though, which is... Oh, wow, that one... That doesn't look great. <laughs> Yikes. Whatever. Kill the... Kill that one, too. It's running! It's coming for us! Oh my god, they are really good aims in this game. This isn't like tabs. Where, like, some of them can miss. These guys hit every shot perfect. Right pinpoint on the head. Oh, no. Oh, Jesus. Wow. Well, it's fucking dead. Yeah, nah, they're really good archers in this game. That's good to know. All right. Uh, tutorial four, we know how to uh, tell guys to attack. Use keys. Okay, I know how to move my camera. There's something hidden in one of these towers. I'm supposed to like find it. Uh, there's a pig. There's a single hog in this tower. So uh, I'm just gonna order my guy to kill that one. Just get over there and kill that, kill the hog. What does he do to do that? What, is this like jetpack? What is that? Man? Bro? I think I might need to tell him that there's actually a pig in there. Kill that pig. Whoa, 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 whoa. What? Huh? Uh huh? Pig? dead. I wasn't expecting he would have, um, a rocket launcher backpack. Click on the bottom button in the bottom left corner of the screen to create animals, okay? 
Uh, use a mouse scroll. Okay, we just, we just make, we can, okay, we just have to make an army. I'm gonna choose modern human. I'm gonna summon, uh, I don't really, can I summon, uh, what do we have here in ancient, can we get some, uh, Archie the Archer did pretty good. Look, let's just, hang on, what's the, what's the unit creator? I can't just do that. Let's get let's get a couple suicide sues. <laughs> let's get a small number of suicide sues in. Sue, what's your deal? She looks like she has guns. That adds suicide sue. Okay, Sue. What exactly is your deal? Oh my god! Wait, a bunch of them died. <laughs> So, I lost. Most of them jumped over the enemies and then knocked, up, bonked their heads and died. Can I get it? Hang on. Can we clear all Sues? Clear all Sues from the battlefield. She jumps over them, completely misses, lands, and dies. Can we get one more filming of Sue? I want to make sure this is actually happening. Oh, that time she actually did it. Oh, that time she actually she blew up. That's dark, Sue. Well, I'm going to summon a bunch of commando bows. We got guns. I'm pretty sure is the deal with these guys. Whoa! Holy shit! Well... I don't think we needed that many commando bows to kill, um, kill them. <laughs> you liberated them good. The white character is your FPS avatar. Okay. Just like, just like tabs. Hey. It controls better than Taz because it's not as ragdolly, but the bullet sounds are, you know, stock bullets. Tunnel snakes rule. The bats are very large. That's like wiffle ball bat to your shit. Well, it's cool I got the option. Take control of your FPS avatar and reach the red flag. Shift and crouch. Okay. I can handle this. Check this one out, chat. You'd have to be a... You'd have to be a gamer to be able to pull this one off. Check this out. Yeah. Piece of cake. This game really makes you feel like Halo. Yeah, kind of. Anything else that I'm desperately gonna need to know? Take control of the FPS avatar and reach one of the red flags in the tower. You can destroy the tower with a grenade launcher. This game's got fucking destruction, man. Is this possibly a good game? Dude, you know what that gave me flashbacks to? Boom blocks. Fucking boom blocks. You know what I mean? I just started thinking about boom blocks. This game is worth exactly fifteen dollars. <laughs> that's now that's a review I've never heard before for a video game. This game is worth exactly its asking price and not a cent more or less, so help me God. Take control of the FPS avatar and go to the enemy spawner and disable it. Then kill all the enemy units to win. You can switch weapons using the scroll wheel. Okay. Hog. It's a hog. We got wild hogs! I think I just have to break it with bullets. How many hogs are after me at this point? I don't wanna look. How many bullets is it gonna take to, oh my God, there's an awful lot of hogs. How many bullets does it take to fucking break this thing? <laughs> Just fucking die already! 
job! The spruggy... Oh, I think I just had to touch it. Oh, I didn't have to shoot it. I just had to touch it. Oh, my God. See, Chad, this is why you need an automatic gun to defend yourself from hogs. See, I wouldn't have been able to do that with the pistol. A pistol would not have would not have been able to deal with the hogs. Okay, wrong wrong one. We want level ten. This is the last thing we need to know for the entire game. This poor little hippo has no chance against a bunch of angry humans. That's bullshit. This poor little hippo could rip all these humans to fucking shreds if it felt like it. Yeah, all right. <laughs> we gotta add some weapons to this hippo to make the game fair. Are you sure? Is this... Is this truly necessary for the hippo to be more powerful? Are you fucking sure? Is this exactly what you think this hippo needs? Does it really need the missile launcher attachment? Uh, I'm kind of rooting for this side. <laughs> Go for it, gang. Yeah, no, that seemed like the hippo needed the help, dude. There it goes. Back to do whatever hippos do. <laughs> You're a menace. Well, that's the tutorial. I guess we'll go in order for now. Human salvation. The first level of human salvation. Remember the control movement of units using the mouse. Okay. So the first level of the whole game is just a bunch of, this is exactly what it was like back in the day. You'd have some sort of Norse warrior Pretty much naked from the top up, minus a very tasteful mustache. Uh, flip flops and some like sweatpants. Big shield, huge axe that like uh, you would need like two hands to carry in one hand. And everyone looks the exact same. Same mustache, extremely buff, but very weak. Like their call your collarbones are just basically like fucking nowhere to be found on these guys. The muscles have completely devoured the collarbones for sustenance. All right, so how do I fight them? Uh, I'd like to summon... Can we just... I have a unit limit of 25. I don't think I can just... I don't think I can do a thousand archies as much as I'd love to just do a thousand archies. I don't think that's actually good. We're just gonna grab a couple Teutonic Knights. Fifteen of those sounds good. And then we'll just grab a line of archies. Nice and easy. I will personally command the archies in battle. Stop. Hey, archies. Go, like, go behind these bushes. Go behind those bushes. And all of you... Kill that guy. Kill that guy specifically. How's it going? It seems the Teutonic Knights are winning. Hang on. Oh! Oh my god, he's running! He's dead! Oh my god, these knights are far more powerful than these than these shieldmen. It's simply barely even a battle at this point. They just cleave them and twine so easily. What are the archers doing? I told them all to go to that bush, and that's what they did. They listened to orders. Is that a problem? All right, so that's fighting men, but I don't think men are the... Looking at the line here, men are not the real threat. We battled for so long against the humans that we forgot that the animals, too, wanted a, wanted a piece of the action. And they've risen against us. I don't think there's a single fucking way I could summon any amount of units that would win against this many animals. Like, what? I'm, I'm sorry? You better be giving me, like, an upgrade. 
I'm going to lose. I'm going to, I'm going to lose. There's no way, I, there's simply no way I win. I only have 40. We'll do it how they did it back in the day. Bows. Just a lot of bows. All right, chat. Awful lot of bows backed up to the corner of the abyss. And one singular. Hang on, I don't have the money for that. One singular this guy. I will personally command him to run away and distract the enemy. No, 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 run that way, run that way. Get out of there! Get out of there, man! You gotta get out of there! Run that way! Oh! And my voice cracked. Embarrassing. Ah, oh, they're all dead. They're all dead. They're all, they're all dead. They're pushing each other over to get away. You gotta get out of there, Shaggy! They come, they're ripping, they're ripping them to shreds! Shaggy, no! Not the edge! Could any possibly survive this mayhem? Oh, you don't wanna land like that. You don't wanna land like that. You definitely don't wanna land like that. That is why you use the winged hussars. Are you giving me unironic backseating advice for... I'm sorry, I'm checking my notes here. Animal Revolt Battle Simulator? <laughs> That's how I listen and summon some hussars. All right, hussars. Do your thing. How did these guys do? Doesn't look like they did very well. Looks like they're losing. Looks like they're losing. They're losing. They lost. They didn't make it even one second to that charge. Wait, hang on. The horses are still fighting back. They're kicking the hippos! Hold on, all the animals are dead! They're dying, they're running! Oh, that hippo's super dead. It's just the rhinos alive now, folks. This rhino's try. oh my god, right into the brain. It's over. Apparently we needed winged hussars. Okay. Well, next up, uh, next fight is obviously against the next animal threat, which is of course not animals, it's bugs. After all the animals were dead, the bugs r rose up to take what was theirs. Ew, that cave sucks. We got ants, we got Worms, we got some kind of fucking crab with a tail. It's a bad scene out here in the desert. We need to summon exactly the same things as last time. I summon really just all horse guys again, because they just seem like the best option. Go, horse guys, go. <laughs> The ants are too small to be hit by the horse, guys. They've grabbed onto the horses. My God. Get it off of him. Do something. Is it alive still? Oh, that thing's dead. It got trampled. The worms. It looks like they're winning again. It looks like the Hisars might be the best option right now. Oh, that horse is being devoured. This, this one's being devoured. It's just like King Kong. Wow, dude, it's just like Peter Jackson, Jackson's The King Kong. I love this part of the fucking game, dude. Yeah, that horse is super dead. Nope, horse is alive. Now it's super dead. <laughs> oh. 
Oh, that heart they're being it's like a fucking horrible swarm. There's one oh, it's over. I believe we need less horses and more archies the archers. And this battle will go a little bit better. Cause now Archie can fire into the into the crowd. Archie, I need you to kill those worms! Fire at the worms, Archie! If you don't do something soon, they'll come for you! Good. Good stuff. Shoot at those worms, kill the worms! Worms gotta die. And the ant. It looks like soon all of the distractions will be dead. <laughs> it looks like... Looks like that man in the worm pile is the last surviving member of the army. Oh! Oh, Jesus Christ! Kill them! They come. They won. End of the line. Archers got it. We just had to sacrifice every single melee unit. And after all the bugs were dead, the dinosaurs were like, hold up. There's, looks like it's time to come out of our caves. It's been 18 million years. It's time to come back. All the other ones are dead. Now it's our turn. But the human said, I don't think so. Have you guys heard of bows and arrows? Have you guys heard of bows and arrows? Wow, there's an awful lot of small ones, huh? That's a, yeah, no, those are for real velociraptors. Just, oh my God. He's, yeah, that's right, that's where evolution gets you, you little idiot. Can't even get up once you fall on your... Put him down, you're not supposed to be able to use your hands like that, man! Oh! What the fuck? The one thing I would not plan on with a dinosaur is it's using its hand claws to pick me up and throw me around. You know what I mean? <laughs> I wasn't, I wasn't banking on that. I, I just wasn't. Um, okay, well, I'm gonna, dude, I, this game fucking slaps hard. What the fuck? I need to, to be more careful. This one slaps. Usually these, like, simulator ones feel like kind of money grabs chasing after, you know, Tab's legacy. But it's not just Tab's, all these, these, the, it all, it's got some nuance of its own. I, I like it. Uh, we're gonna let the horses do their thing. Archers still seem so necessary, but there's so many of these, like, little raptors. Horses, distract! <laughs> yeah, do something! See, now it's like a big meat pile, which means there's a lot of space for the archers to do their thing. Oh my god. Those dinosaurs are fucking messed up. The horse, the poor fucking horse. No! You're aiming at the wrong thing! No! It's still alive! It's not gonna make- I got- I'm just gonna turn the camera away. I don't wanna see it anymore. It seems like there's a lot of friendly fire from the archers. <laughs> Dude, just, just fall down, just fall over. Oh no. Oh, Shaggy! <laughs> Jesus Christ! Where'd he go? Did he ever come back down? He never went back down. He went to heaven. <laughs> we won! When will the- Oh my god, the, some of the horses is still alive. I think that may have even been the one that was riddled with arrows. 
Dude, this one will be okay. One's in its nose, but that's alright. It could be a lot worse. They could have been eaten by a dinosaur. That guy will never work in this industry again. Uh, the Shaggies are casually fine, as usual. Let's just move on. And after all the dinosaurs were dead, more dinosaurs, the herbivores, were like, oh, wait a minute, there's finally space for me. Hey, guys, get out here. And they called all their funny, like, flat guys to the team. Uh, it seems like the solution is regularly many archers followed by a couple distractions. You know what I mean? Like five distractions and then just like a large selection of actual tank characters. And that kind of that kind of solves these. Yeah, I'm not too worried about the gators. I don't think they're going to be able to do much. Look at this. This one doesn't even know what's happening yet. How are they... What? Guys, it... guys, get the Triceratopses. Guys, get the... Get that guy first. Get the Triceratopses, please. Oh, no. That one's taking some hope for later. <laughs> they're too strong. Forget it! <laughs> Forget, it. <laughs> Forget it! The horses just didn't stand a chance. These guys were too flat! Oh my god. His. How many were still alive? I don't think the horses worked very well on this one. I think the horses were bad because these guys are too low to the ground. I think what we need is some Teutonic Knights on each side to get those gators. Oh my god. The fucking Triceratopses are just fucking messed up. But, no, it looks like they're still losing to the... Yeah, they're losing to the gators. They're losing so bad to the gators. Just hold the line, man! Okay, the archers cannot see the gators anymore. They're too low to the ground. Back it up! Get out of there! That guy can only stall for so long. All right, fire! My god. Is it a win? There's one warrior still holding it. He's got there. He's grabbed by the legs. He's getting thrown around but it looks like we might win this just by oh there it is damn this guy got I'd be so fucking mad at the team right now <laughs> if I were this shaggy <laughs> I just aim around him it's a line and after all of those guys were dead these spiky dinosaurs were all like guys there's still time for more of us to get involved. And the hippos were like, I'm just gonna join in. And there were also snakes there, kind of just wiggling. All right. They made a big mistake though, because we activated time travel and summoned many bold billies. A whole army of just guys showed up and they were fucking PO'd. They all took their fighting stance. And they started punching the snakes. Get him! Oh, listen to that slap sound. Yeah, I'm not too worried about the billies. Punch that hippo in the head! What the fuck is going on over there? Hang on, that's cheating. Where'd that snake come from? Where'd these snakes come from? What? Where'd these big snakes come from? I don't remember big snake. Okay, I don't think Billy is gonna be able to beat these guys. I, I don't, gang, I don't, I just heard the slap sound of Billy impacting with I think I, oh, that's what he impacted. <laughs> Even in his guaranteed death, he still got those fucking fighting eyes, dude. Still got those fighting eyes. I didn't hear no bell. Get up. Get up, Billy. 
That blood's pooling. It's over. How many survived? Almost. I'm not even seeing any dead animal bodies in the entire fucking field. Maybe one gator? Snake's taking some food home for later. Well, uh, this time I'm going to do it seriously. They pushed me to my limit. I summon Slow Mo. Alright, Slow Mo. I want to see what you can do alone before I summon many of you. You know what I mean? He's got a gun. Yo, Slow Mo, aim at that one. Please. He fucking missed. He's running. He got knocked over. He's dead. I guess they are slow. Well... Bats seem good against snakes, so I'm going to grab some of them. We're also going to summon one or two horse guys to distract the snakes. We're going to get a couple Archie archers. Okay, we all know that. We all know Archies are good. Archie the archer is very good. And then we're going to summon some crossbow anacles on these boulders that let me cheat the level. Yes. Yes. No, 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 no. Oh, they got off of it. All right, they're dumb. Whatever, it doesn't matter. This should mean, this should be better for us. Unfortunately, the horses, oh, yeah, the horses didn't last very long. But the bats are working well. Beat the crap out of that guy. Get him. This person lost. <laughs> oh, no. No, the snakes are so strong. Someone fucking kill those snakes now. Why are they both spinning everyone? Man, Hippo's just playing with their food at this point. The crossbow lady has a chance of surviving. The Hippo's no. Yep. Wow, that didn't go very well again. I think the bat people aren't very good. I'm gonna move the crossbow people a little bit closer. And then we're just gonna summon some good old fashioned tanky Spartans. The horses are also just bad. But the Spartans immediately blown up by my uh, archers, because I think the archers have explosive shots. Hang on, can I get a can I get a play by play on that a second time? Archers the Spartans go there. Looks like many bombs go off. But it looks like it didn't blow up this time, which is better. The snakes are just so bad. Because they panic the archer team, and then they go, mmm, naked people to eat. And they just start ripping them to shreds. I think I might need to, like, put some of my melee back here with the archers to protect them. There's just so many horrible problems in this fight. Archers just suck? Wrong. Wrong. Archers have won us every fight. You're wrong. I think the I think the new people might suck though. Hang on. Cle clear the board. Clear the board. I want 15 archies. A couple of these guys here. To protect them. I actually want the Archies farther back on this one. I want the Archies way back. There. Twelve Archies. Some Spartan warriors here to protect them from the inevitable snakes that are going to jump forward. And then... I want a bunch of knights. I want a bunch of knights. It should buy us some time. Now some of the melee might be a little bit farther back to protect. Yeah, against the snakes. It gives the archers more time to... Dude, just get the snake already. Just get him. The snakes are just such a bad scene. All right, snakes. It's, get it's going better, though. It is. I might need to order these guys to aim at the... Yeah, the snakes. Once the snakes get involved, it's like pretty much all over. 
Maybe this is just like a straight up like fucking melee punch fight. Cause like the archers do get kills. They get the majority of our kills as a matter of fact, but these snakes are so fucking scary that it might just be better if we do all, you know. Oh my God. Well, that one's stupid. Hey, look at this fucking idiot. Where'd the ground go? Oh, I don't know, man. Dumbass. I got an idea. All right, Moe's. Do your thing. Humanity triumphed for a reason. Okay? Humanity triumphed for a reason. Lock and load, boys! Give them hell! Oh my god. The snakes! The snakes! The panicking! The line is broken! But the Moes are still alive! They're just panicking! The Moes have panicked. The, the morale's broken. Morale's broken. Morale's broken. Many of them are just kind of like confused what's happening to them. This guy doesn't even realize what's happened. He has no idea he's already dead. Okay, we don't need all Moes, but some Moes is good. We just need some- we need some fucking idiot to distract the Moes. Like, them for the Moes. You know what I mean? So, get rid of- ditch two Moes. Okay. And get many ancient... Crixus... No, it's too many. It's not enough. Hang on, we have- how many units? We got 12. It's all money. What's the cheapest- Fucking idiots we can buy. Oh, yeah. Bring in some billies. All right, bold billy. Buy us time. Buy us time. Goddamn patriots. The snakes have been distracted. That's good. Huge. Huge. It's working. It's working! They're dying! They're dying! The war's ending! The Billy's won! Now that's a true American. It's over. Look at this guy fucking wrestling a hippo for freedom. We won. Yeah, no, that was the answer. Slow mo's are really good. After that, of course, once all the reptiles were dead, it was just us and the other mammals. So naturally, the apes rose. Naturally, the gorillas rose up. Obviously, the monkeys would rise. We all knew this was coming. There's only one monkey I'm worried about. It's the Omega monkey. It's the Chad monkey. These ones are normal. You can tell by... This is like, this is like the virgin gorilla. <laughs> there's like different... There's different tiers of gorilla. There's normal gorilla, and then there's, like, the omega gorilla. They, they, you even have, like, the fucking body posture. Like, it... Alright, well... What do I get? Do I get new things? No. Well, they still... These gorillas don't have guns. So I'm gonna do the slow-mos. I'm gonna do 13 slow-mos. And a collection of my own gorillas. The closest thing we as humans have to gorillas. Is big buildings. Oh my fucking god, did they just throw those hammers at us? Are they throwing the hammers? I just saw them recall them. It's okay. We have the mow line. These gorillas. These gorillas are angry, but we will win. Unless that one gets to us. Uh, that one looks like a bad scene. The Billies! Oh, the Billies are winning! Oh my god, next time get guns, idiots. Next time get a gun, you stupid ape. The Moes. The Moes are really strong. The... After all the gorillas were dead, of course the polar bears came. 
angry about climate change. They got involved. They look really stupid. Remember that you can control movement of units using your mouse? I know, I know, I just don't want to. We have officially unlocked Coward Coles. All right, Coward Cole. Let's see what you can do. Get out of here! Oh, you don't want a trip. You never want a trip like that because then the polar bears will get you, Cole. Yeah, no, they really are cowards. This guy, this Cole's just running. Oh, he turned around to check if the monsters were still after him. He's watching as they eat all of his fellow Coles. But really, it, it is just a bloodbath. Coles are climbing on other Coles. This coward Cole is just watching. But for how long will he remain undetected? from the swarm. Oh, it's too bad I can't like control this guy. Well, it looks like they're coming. He's noticed. Damn, that is like, that is some horror movie shit. That's not how normal, that's not how it happens. Well, Cole has been torn to the ground and he's now being trampled. No, they found a pocket of coals. They found a pocket of coals! Run, Cole, run! Run, you gotta get out of here, man! Be calm! Oh, I just saw his neck get broken. Well, I gotta go to the bathroom. So you guys hang out with these bears, these fun bears, as they just kinda hang out and enjoy their meal. I'll be right back. So I'm just racking my brain. I'm trying to figure out what's the answer to kill a bunch of polar bears, if not umbrellas. Because I assumed the umbrellas were like a, like symbolism for climate change or something, like something to do with climate. But the polar bears just devoured them in almost an, like a sudden instant. Uh, I don't have a lot of money. So with that in mind, I think we just club them as we would seals, you know? So I'm just gonna get a couple bat guys. Just be it, be it, just hit him. Hit him with the, slap him with the bats. It seems to be working. It seems to be working. It seems to be failing, it seems to be over. Yeah, it didn't work. That didn't work at all. We need more distractions. One crossbow and a co. And one archer should be able to dispatch all these polar bears if these punch guys distract them long enough. I don't know if the crossbow works for it. But it looks like he just killed a lot of them, so... The crossbow works very well. Yeah, that's all it took. Just some archers. It just all it took was like two archers. Crossbow works very well. After all the polar bears died though, obviously some simple machines would rise up. We've been too confident for too long. Using pulleys and wedges. No. No. No, no. No, 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 I was wrong, I was wrong. It's, 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 hang on. 
1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23 feral hogs and at least three or four, three hippos with armor. We don't need automatic guns though because it's only 23 of them. <laughs> we'll be okay. We'll be okay. So we'll just use the shotguns. How does hippo armor interact with the mold? It seems it blocked bullets. Oh, they're panicking. Oh, they're breaking the hogs. The hogs. What do the hippos do? <gasps> no. Bro? Oh my god. <laughs> Mo, get out of there! We made a mistake! We made a mistake! Oh, they're dead. How do I possibly beat that? We're gonna need some coward coals on both sides of the arena to distract. We're also going to need some long spear-like tools and some Teutonic Knights in the front to distract the enemy. Then I'm going to need explosive armaments, a nice selection of them. And then I'll still have enough to buy one archer and one shield guy. This is the definitive army to defeat him. What did I fucking tell you? What did I tell you the bombs were going to do it? Doesn't matter, these hippos have ripped to shreds many of my Templar knights. Man, we didn't even need the calls. The archers, the crossbow ladies do a lot of fucking damage. After the hippos had died, of course, big men, the huge men would rise. The giants and their dragons. That's them. That's huge man. And like a dragon. <laughs> That's blind, I think. And some ants. And, uh, is there anything in this base? Well, do I get anything cool? Because, like, looks like you have what looks to be, um, cows with shields on their body. I'm sorry, what's that one? We have a Skyrim werewolf over here as well. Uh, what do I get? Do I get anything cool? No. No, it looks like the same for now. Well, I guess it's cool to see them getting cool stuff. I guess I'll just get a bunch of bald billies. Sort of sprinkled about. Followed by some crossbow ladies again. Followed by some uh, Spartan warriors. We love the Spartan warriors. And then we still have some space... For one or two, for one, oh, there's no, I don't even need to spend the rest to know there's no way this guy loses to a werewolf. Watch this. Watch this. Let's see which one's stronger. It's big dog or the co combined technological advancements of the like medieval ages all at the same time. Let's see what's better, dog or all of that. Oh my God. <laughs> it's the dog. It's the dog! It's the dog! Wait, where's all the people I had alive? What happened to all them? Why are the huge men still alive? Wait. Why are all the huge men alive? Oh my god. Can I get a redo? I just want to see what happened to the- what happened to this team. Was it by design that those things blew up or was that my crossbow ladies? Looks like- looks like it got- Are those- Hang on. I need to confirm this with everyone's favorite guys. I'm just gonna put one- singular bold billy down just see if these guys blow up they're bombs 
All right, those guys are bombs. We don't need to... We're just going to put two sacrificial bold billies in the way for those two. Crossbow Anikos is still fine where they are. Maybe a couple slow mows as well. And then a nice old line of Spartan warriors. Should be enough. Yes, this should go well. Because these guys will shoot down the dragons. The dragon is still alive, folks. It's not over yet. But it's going better. Way better. Let's kill that dragon. Oh, no. They got Mo. It seems that the huge men are going to take a little bit more than bullets and explosive crossbow bolts to stop. Is what our team is starting to realize. And let's not even get me started on the ants. We're gonna need, uh, we're gonna need heavier firepower. And by heavier firepower, I mean, we're gonna need some archies. We're gonna need, we're gonna need some Archie the Archers. I think genuinely they're better for this. Because of their range. And then we're gonna add in a couple of my favorite Teutonic Knights. I gotta stop, hang on. I gotta stop putting them so close to the bombs. Cause they, I lose some health on these guys right away cause they're too close to the bombs. This is the definitive one. Hang on, stop. Uh, all of you. After the dragon. Just shoot everything. It doesn't matter, just shoot them all. If it moves, shoot it. Okay, Shaggy. Hold the, hold the line. Oh, I gotta be more careful with this fight. This isn't gonna be as easy as I was hoping it would be. Range is cool, but this might be kind of a melee tussle with like one or two ranged. Either way, the bombs getting taken care of is a good thing. I believe. Those are good. Maybe we get us some, uh, we're gonna want, here's the thing, I want two slow-mos over yonder because I'm gonna have them shoot the dragon down. Maybe then we just get like many Spartan warriors? Like just a good old fashioned pile of them. And just see how that goes. Maybe this will go better for me. Because now we have some tanky guys to kill all the ants. Oh, the ants got to mow. Damn, these, this is a hard one, dude. Am I? Is there like a unit that I've missed that would like change this game for me here? Man, I've got, I've got angry Joes. I just summon many angry Joes. Go, oh, my bat wielding tunnel snakes! It's a good old slap fight. Days like this would make me proud to be an American. Takes a lot of hits to kill an ant. Huge man has made it to the Moes! Run, Mo, run! Run, flee! Oh. Yeah, we're not getting many kills. I think we need more rain. I think, here's the thing. Bats lasted the longest in melee. Get a couple less of them. Add a couple, add maybe a ranged person or two. An extra ranged person or two. And maybe we're cooking with gas. Why did Aniko already fall over? Aniko, I want you to kill that fucking dragon. Werewolf's down. Aniko's been picked up by the fucking dragon. It, nothing has changed 
Nothing has changed the outcome so far for me. Is there a way that I can use these hippos against the other team? No, because they took away the coward guy. Or I would. And I still technically could. That one blew up instantly. Now I'm going to tell this guy to run here. Hmm, hmm, hmm. Idea. Idea. Big idea. Big idea cooking in my system. Huge idea. This is gonna be a this is gonna be a test round. Big idea happening right now. Pause. Once the fight starts, grab this guy. Oh, it takes so long for the horse to take an order. Hang on. Did, was that, like, just bugged? No, now they're moving. Right. Okay. Mm, actually, hold up. Wait. No, that worked great. Hang on. This might truly be solved very easily. Because it looked like all the bomb guys got blown up super far away by our, like, by guns. Where it may be just having the line really far back of the Moe's is the solution. No, we need, like, one right. We need one melee guy to slow down the fight. We need, we need, we need a couple... I need a couple melee to slow down the approach. I think that'll be best done by just like a couple Spartan warriors in the middle to kind of make everything like collapse in. I think this might be it. If the archer, that's the thing. I need to actually like m micromanage them at the beginning. Because if I don't, I can't uh, tell them to not attack that because I want them to go into the mid. They don't listen to me, dude. That's the problem. They're not listening. Go there. Yes. There we go. That's what I've been trying to get to happen. Now, this fight is simply between some moes, a huge man, an ant, and a werewolf. Huge man is dead. The ant is dead. The fight is over. Simple as that. What is this one? Now what's happening here though? I see they've escalated. I see they've I see they've added yet more shields to this rhinoceros. Making it an omega rhinoceros. <laughs> well, <laughs> let's see what Billy thinks about that. Billy, put this on your head. Go. It's not fair. That's not fair, they have guns. Hang on. Hang on. They're gonna make me do this carefully. Three billies. No more options for you to like aim around them. You got, you have to choose a target. I'm not gonna be able to, okay, here we go. Three billies are not enough to blow up one, okay. All right, one dynamite's not enough to blow up a single one of these things. What about two dynamite? What about, what about, what about two dynamite per guy? What about two dynamite? Two dynamite is officially, oh, this dragon's fucked now. Activate my most powerful character. Slow. Goddamn mo. Sprinkle some slow mo's everywhere. 
All you gotta do is shoot that dragon out of the goddamn sky, boys! It's over. Slow-mo easily dispatches the dragon. And we're moving on. Huh? What? After the dragon was dead, obviously the next battle was going to be between dinosaurs, dead guys from some of the last fights that I accidentally just kind of threw into the fight to distract polar bears and the like, and a big snake with a lot of snake bodies attached. It's kind of like a sort of dragon adjacent thing. I'm not, I'm not worried. Because I have only ancient humans this time. You gotta be fucking kidding me. Wait, what? We have only ancient humans this time. Okay, um, well... I'm gonna need some Spartan warriors this time. Horse team, over yonder. Gonna need some Crixuses. And some knights. We didn't even get archers this time. This is a true old-fashioned tussle. And let's see if they can pull it off. The horses are flanking around. Seems they're just actually not really flanking. They're distracted by this one poor fucking skeleton. How's the Hydra? How hard's the Hydra to fight? This one Templar is distracted. This fucking hero is distracting every head of the Hydra on his own and still fighting. He's in the perfect position, ladies and gentlemen. Oh no. Larry? La Larry? Eaten. Devoured. The horses have been distracted by... Oh, they, w they walked right into that one. I don't think they're going to be ready to fight the real threat today. Man, those spinny guys really... Really make this more difficult. I think the war's over. It's not. Not by a long shot. These two warriors are still alive and they're not gonna be for very long. Okay. It's gonna take more than what we have. The horses uh, were cool until they weren't. We're gonna add these guys instead and pretty much use every cent we have. Because these guys throw spears, which is the best option we have to like kill some of these spinny boys. It's a real mess down here at the Hydra today, folks. He's not, it's not over yet for this guy. Stick the landing. He landed right on his tailbone and his ass was shattered. And he died. The Hydra's backed into the corner. Everything else is pretty much dead. It's just the Hydra in this fight, folks. It's just the Hydra. A couple of brave people are still in the fight. Oh, it's... Oh, you know it's over when this guy gets involved. Hit it! Hit his tail, cut his tail off and get a special weapon. I don't think, I'm getting worried. Oh my God. Just die. Just die already. He died. Wait, no. He lived, but barely. He's gonna have to drag around three of his dead heads now. Well, what I did learn is... Move these guys... Back. And move these guys... Up. That was the only change I wanted to do. Because I think, oh my god, it's just like, most of our deaths aren't from anything other than the spinny guys doing their spinny thing. Wait a minute. Hang on, no, 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 no. It might be the other way around. Hang on, hang on. These guys throw stuff at the first things they see. So, hold up. 
just give it one second. I'm gonna readjust some things. How many throws does it take to kill one of these guys? Four, possibly. Does it take two? Can I do it with two? No. Can I do it with three? It takes exactly three men's spears to kill one of these stupid spinny fucks. Which means now if I start, all three of these spin guys should be dead instantly. Yes. Yes. Yes! We'll add Teutonic Knights behind them. And Spartan Warriors to the front. This war will be won! We gotta add him behind him. Okay, these guys have to be the actual front line because otherwise they hit. They'll like bump into um the spears can be stopped by our like front line. So these guys will all be sacrificial lambs. They have shields, they'll be fucking fine. They'll be fine. Yes. Yes. These guys are the DPS for the fucking boss. This is perfect. This is gonna be it. This is it. This is it! This is what we've been waiting for! True war! True battle! Kill them! Rip them to shreds! Kill the skeletons! Get to the fight! Those skeletons are pretty fucking tanky though, holy shit. It's just some skeletons and the Hydra. The skeletons are being trampled by their own Hydra. I think a Spartan can handle one of these things. It's time. It's time, it's just the Hydra now. There's so many guys on the tail. Get him. Yeah, that's what it, oh. Some heads are already dead. I think we've got it. There's only one head still alive. But I don't want to jinx it because there's not many of our guys left. It's down to you, man. Kill him. Finish the fight. Finish it, man. Yes! He's under it alive! He's alive! He lived! He lived! The champ! I mean, he's gonna die underneath the weight of the monster, but he did win. Undeniably the greatest warrior our era has ever known. And that's when the big cows with legs and arms showed up, which was really like a bad scene. And it looks like they're trying to hide something behind, which is um, Omega Super Duper Gorilla um, with big shields on his back, machine gun uh, uh, body parts, big spear, uh, spear gloves, and what looks to be like seven missile launchers. Is that a fucking, like, Dinosaur Sentry Tower? I have to beat this with a 400 limit? That's fine, give me like a good unit then. They gave me Suicide Sues. What kind of weapons do I get? Harpoons? Well, boys. Here's how we win the war. I'm gonna need every coal we have. And every one of those coals will have one harpoon strapped to their head. Cole, I know that you're scared. We all are. But sometimes you have to do things that you don't wanna do.
Cole, don't do that! I was not ex- I, you know, when- When I saw what it was talking about with the harpoon, I thought it would pull them to us, and maybe we'd, like, huck them off of the thing. I didn't realize Cole was so small that it was guaranteed that he would get ripped into the Minotaur. Well, it's a lot easier than I thought, which is the good news. That's the good news. Because Suicide Sue, okay, should be able to easily dispatch every one of these assholes. I'm not even sure they're going to need the harpoons aside from this one. My god. But, but blow up. I mean, here's the thing. All the dinosaurs were dead. All, I mean, all the minotaurs were dead, and we've still got a lot- we still got half of our fun still. We still have half of our fun still. So, you know. All I need to do now... Put some dynamite on all of them to really make sure that, like... That takes care of it. We go back. We add a coward coal in the background. We only need one survivor. That, it's an important detail to keep in mind. There only needs to be one survivor. Uh, now we just switch over to some ancient humans. We need somebody to fight the gorilla. <laughs> we need someone that can survive long enough to fight the gorilla. Why did they blow up already? Why did that happen? Why did they automatically explode? What happened? They just blew up! I'm beginning to think that that dynamite's not very good. Yeah, the gorilla is pretty fucking scary. Okay, okay, reset, 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 reset. I want to ask, I want an important question to be answered. Can I just add, like, a many suicide sues, but, like, kind of everywhere? How does that work? Gorilla's dead! It's not... Bro, it came down to the last suicide sue in the corner. Hang on. Everyone died, but this one suicide too. But how do we get this fucking... Wait, no, we just need this one suicide too to have a harpoon. But we need one survivor. Or maybe a couple to tell the tale. One of these calls will live. So help me God! Wait. Better idea. Call. One, there will still be a call. It's just... Might be able to simplify this. Even more. Okay. Call. Take this harpoon. And this dynamite. That was the darkest thing I've ever done. In my life. Oh no, the gorilla actually lived this time. I think it's random chant. Wait. Hang on. <laughs> it's... No, it's more expensive to use dynamite in a harpoon. We just keep going until eventually we win. Gorilla's dead! She just has to kill this Minotaur! It's over! It's over. Suicide Suit doesn't have to die. And Cole is still alive. One of them, he's shell-shocked. Yeah, just watch another Cole get attacked, get like blown up. In a tower. Kill a dinosaur. But he lived. And that's an entire campaign beaten. 
So, uh, what's this one? Tower di dinosaur hunt. This, ooh, hang on, these are like first person battles. I can hunt down all dinosaurs hidden in the grass. You got it. All right, dinosaurs. Come on now. Huh? Oh. Still more dinosaurs, isn't it? I dare a dinosaur scarier than that to come out. Ah. 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 Dude, I'm really good at this. Okay, that's pretty that's that's pretty easy. I think I think we can move on. Because there's still a lot more in this game still. Rise of the Apes. Well, hang on. Are these humans on houses? They're scared of something. But what? But what? Poojectile Gorilla. Damn! That gorilla's got a gigantic dumpy. Holy shit. You kidding me? You got, is this gonna be fecal funny? Is it gonna be like a funny? Oh my God. Just go away, dude. This is a bad idea. This is, uh, chat. This is messed up, man. I'm kind of rooting for the fucking humans right now. There's people in these houses cowering. And the apes just don't care. <laughs> you man really lost that day. That is absolutely heinous. This game is this game is awful again. One of them died. I don't know how. Well, that's gorillas for you. After that, the humans had to escalate, of course, and that's why they got involved with horses. Wait, no, but we still, we still, I don't need other, I'm gonna just, I'll, I'll, I'll summon King, King, King Chung. My collection of King Chungs. I mean, it feels like the gorillas win. Like, I would be baffled if the gorillas lost. They're just... Like, look at this. Dude, it... Stop, it's over. King Chung, please. It's just a horse. Bonk, bonk, bonk. They're not... Dude, just stay down. Just, just stay down. Oh! oh. Nope, King Chung's still alive. Okay, uh, so far apes much uh, stronger than the humans were at this point in the game. Uh, yeah, it turns out an army of humans cannot beat eight apes. That sounds actually about right. Uh, next we have a bunch of naked... Uh, shaggies. Uh, oh god, it's a firing squad. Oh no, what are we gonna do? I summon... A Shatterilla. You know, the sh the, the the super gorilla? With the armor. <gasps> Yeah, nah, it's gonna be- it's gonna be the poop ones. It's gonna be the poop ones. It's just- it's just gonna be a lot of these guys. Yeah, I wish- I wish you all luck. What did you think was gonna fucking happen? Yeah, right, nah, it's over. It's over. The ranged game, the gorillas had they specced into range. They specced into range. They- they- they specced into range. The- 
these archers didn't stand a chance. I don't even think being up on a thing, like any kind of building is gonna, I don't, hang on, but we did just unlock Scimitarilla. Which is of course a gorilla with a scimitar. And a claw hand. How does that work for us? No, no, surely not. Scimitarilla, you can't be serious. And he's got jorts on. Not bad, Scimitarilla, not bad. All the Scimitarillas are dead. This guy has killed them all. <gasps> no way, dude, he's climbing! I don't think it matters. He's still alive. He's in the blind spot. It's gonna take a lot more than that to kill... That's fine. Because I didn't even spend 90% of my money that, that round. Because I meant to summon many berserker gorillas. These gorillas are especially angry about the way they've been treated by society. Let's see how these gorillas fight in this environment. It doesn't look like they know how to climb. Man, that gorilla, this gorilla angry, man. It seems we've reached a stalemate. Because they took away the poop move, I don't have it anymore. We're gonna need to think of a different plan. Could I knock out Artist Gorilla? Mm. Can I summon some Wolverillas? Please? Thank you. I'll just summon some Wolverillas. These are, of course, gorillas with Wolverine claws. They're extra dangerous. Oh my god, the scimitarilla. The scimitarilla is fucked, man. Jesus, this is terrifying. He takes another, he takes aim at another one of them. He frantically tries to fire at the scimitar. Hang on, I gotta actually like take control of one of them to tell them to move over here. Dude, get off of that body. Go over here. We gotta move one of these scimitarillas into a spot where it can actually hit the guy. One, dead. Guy aim, got walked back again. Two, dead. Pathetic. Fall back! I mean, no, not all of you, actually. Actually, this is fine. Get him! I just need, I need to micromanage a scimitarilla. It's super important. I have to, I have to game properly. Man, it's a good thing these archers can't fucking aim or this would be really bad. All right, that's another one hucked in. This guy has no idea that he's been missing. No, he probably knows he's been missing most of his shots. He's, he lives to see another day. Because I have to order this fucking dumbass gorilla to walk all the way back. Again. Alright, get this guy. Yeah, he's dead. Yeah, that guy's done. He's, uh, the, the gorillas win again. They've adopted, the humans have adopted shields to protect themselves from... Oh, they just, they just nerfed us by taking away our, you know, most powerful. I'm just gonna grab many knockout gorillas. I don't know what these guys, like, what their deal is. Whoa! Holy shit! Huge, gigantic gorilla action. They've got the spin move. What chance do you simply possibly have against a spin move, man? Not a million years. Wait, no, they're winning. The humans, we just need, we need, we need some body shields to take up the spear throws at the beginning. That's kind of the issue right now is 
We've got these gorillas that do a lot of damage. We need, uh, we need someone to take some hits at the beginning. That's what these, these couple berserker gorillas are gonna be for. Who cares about them? Because directly behind them is going to be a Shatterilla, a Scimitarilla, and of course, multiple King Chungs. The war is over before it even began this time. Because King Chung is a relentless monster, a killing machine, made to destroy. And he goes right over their shields. King Chung is actually losing. But it, I think it might be okay because we have the second King Chung who isn't losing. Yeah. Nope. It's looking like it. Nope. King Chung did not die. It was a fake out. It was a fake out, folks. King Chung is still alive. Oh my god. Damn. Ape strong. But is Ape strong against Army of the Undead? Chat. Well, <laughs> it should be relatively easy because it turns out they've given us back the projectile gorillas again. So really, the fight was over before it even began. I don't even need to see what this new ape does because we have a bunch of apes with explosive, you know, loads. That instantly wins every conflict. No, wait, these skeletons are still alive. They're charging. Hang on, but I don't think these apes care about friendly fire. Yeah, no, it's over. For us. Poop faster! It's over. We lost. We cannot win every single fight because these... Oh, you're right, the skeletons can't smell. Oh, you're so right. We're still going to use it to cheese the archers on either side. But the center of the fight is obviously going to be gore. It's going to be gore. And his berserker goblins. Here we go. The skeleton came back from the dead for this. <laughs> oh, yeah, this, uh, this changes the game. This changes the game. Gore is uh, very powerful. I don't think anything. The archers survived! Gore's dead. I think we need to add more, uh, more poop, actually, than we had. Which is fine. We can de summon some of our. These guys are just distractions for gore, anyways. We can re summon some projectile gorillas. All right. Now this is a fight. I think Gore missed every shot, but that's what the fucking returns for. Damn, Gore. It seems in a fight like this, the poop gorillas actually lose to the archers, no matter what. But is it going to be enough? There's only these archers still standing now. Gore just has to throw his hammer one time, but he keeps getting shot right in the tummy, and it's over. But not if... Not if Larry, the angry gorilla, has anything to say about it, because this gorilla's been PO'd all day, man. Let's see if he can make it to the archer before Shaggy guns him down. The poop. It was always going to be the poop that won it. It was always going to be the poop. But let's see if the apes can handle a battle against just shaggies. Is what I would say, if that were true. But everyone knows there's something hiding in the fucking grass. There's something in there. There's something in there. There's some things in the grass concealing themselves from me. But that's all right, because we got Goro the giant ape. Mecha Goro. 
the most powerful ape in our arsenal. Oh, the, the metal Goro. He uh, is being eaten by birds. But I don't think it's going to be enough. He's getting bit in the face. Goro, do something! He lost. Well, Goro will handle every single one of those. So I'm just going to... Projectile. <laughs> Goro! Do your thing now! It is your time! Fight! The archers! Some of the archers lived, Goro! You have to get them! You have to kill them, Goro! You cannot let them do this to you! Kill them all, my son! You better be... <laughs> you better aim better for those eyes, because... He's clocked you now. Hang on, he's got to get rid of another bird. Goro, please, you have to kill the archers. They are shredding you, Goro. Oh, yeah, Shaggy. It's over. <laughs> oh, Jesus! They just, they just got pancaked. That was a pancake. The bird's running. It's just one Shaggy and the bird now. Oh, the bird got grabbed. The bird just got, just had, it, just had his neck fucking crunched like a bottle. <laughs> that was like a bottle, just like. He just got slapped in the back of the head. That's all it took. Goro is victorious, the super ape. But for some reason, it's not letting me press the finish button. I think the game might have bugged. Hang on, I'm gonna see if I can alt tab and retab back in. Game bugged. Oh wait, I pressed G and it was fine. Okay, I fixed it. It would've been, it would've been fine. I would've been able to remake that fight, no problem, but I fixed it. Let's see, we got Triceratops with a thousand missile launchers each. Anything hiding in the grass? No. I raise you. <laughs> I raise you multiple Goros. I'll see you all in hell. Gorilla angry. Goro? Who won? It was a tie! It wasn't a loss! Oh, I'm angry. Okay. New idea. Goro. Many distraction gorillas. We need a lot of them. We, they're distractions. And two gore's hammers. Okay. And then a final. And then a final. Goro. Get him. That gives us time to close the gap, which is all the time Goros need to punch these guys really hard and kill. Okay, it, nothing changed. Matter of fact, this fight went worse than the last time with multiple Goros. These, these Thor ones did nothing. The Thor ones did nothing. I want three Goros. Need more Goro. Wait, I have an idea. If this if this doesn't play out well this time, I have an idea. All right, I, I have an idea. I have an idea. Uh, all non Goros get off the premises. Goro, 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 and mini poop. Lots of poop. Poop. I'll see you all in hell. Fucking block out. Bring on a nuclear winter with the amount of methane. They're blowing themselves up. We lost again. Would the answer simply be No, we're almost out of units. We've actually we've actually reached maximum amount of Goro. Me well, you know what? Metal Goro was better luck. You know what I mean? So maybe we just get rid of all these and we just go back to four Goro. 
Maybe Metal Goro deflect missile. You know? Maybe... Wow, no, they lost Metal Goro actually extra susceptible to missile. Wait. Why didn't I think of it sooner? King Chung. The Chosen One. The one who will unite all apes. King Chung, you gotta fight back, man! Punch them! Okay, it's not going great on... King Chung was not the answer. We need more power. Yes. <laughs> yes. Goro. Goro. Wolverine ones. And then maybe a couple King Chungs sprinkled around. And then we still have enough money for one funny gorilla with a knockout hand. Farts are funny. Are, is everyone dead? Damn, dude. These fucking... These assholes don't play around. Those missiles, uh, fuck you up. How... What's their maximum range, though, these missiles? Maybe they did enough damage there with the lead-up that we can finish him off now? Come on, Goro! It's just one-on-ones, man! I think dinosaurs might just casually defeat all Goros. Idea. Instead of stacking them, why don't I simply sprinkle Poo Gorilla all over entire countryside? That's not- that's too much- not of money. And then some gores. With their ranged moves, they might be able to do something. Gores might be good. I can still fit one more expensive monkey if I just sell one. We'll also get a scimitarilla. Sure. This is what we needed. Incredible aggression from these. Wow, that was way easier. I forgot the Scimitarillas had those fucking grappling guns. Because that just instantly won it for us. Okay, this one doesn't look as likely. What is this? Rhinos, some kind of stupid looking cow. The, uh. Some crossbow ladies with dead eyes. And uh, what do we have for options? Missile launchers. Mm -hmm. King Chung's. King Chung's. Wolverillas. And every Wolverilla will be coated with a single. We're out of money. Never mind. King Chung's. On each of your King Chung bums will be a missile launcher. You will fire backwards and upwards towards those women. The music stopped like everyone got confused if we won or not. And then we super duper lost so hard. Like, I don't know what the music, like if the music thought that like we won. But the speed at which it gave up Whatever. I want to see some of the other campaigns. Because there's quite a few of them. And this game's kind of grabbing me. Hang on. Rise of the Apes is cool. What about Fantastic Beasts? Let's like do some experiment. And we'll check out the sandbox. Fantasy and Reptiles. Yeah, these... Yeah, Fantastic and Reptiles. Snakes. Oh, you know I'm adding snakes. All right, snakes. Get him. Polar bear's dead. 
polar bear is devout. It's gonna be hard to hit these snakes, is the thing that these these mammals have not realized, because the snakes are low to the ground. Snakes are low to the ground, it's gonna be hard to get a snake once it's on ya. It's got this one in a in a Oh, this fucking bear's gotta be having a bad time. Look at all the blood. It's mostly bear blood. But there are some dead snakes. Wow, that snake is... That snake is ripped up. <laughs> some of the bears are just like upside down flailing. I think we lost. Okay, well that was the goof round. Now it's time for me to take this seriously. Because now you guys pissed me off. I summoned big snakes. Got him. Yeah, I'd like to see how you guys handle the big ones. Because, like, it might have seemed like it was easy to beat the small snakes. But these snakes are different. They're larger. Dude, just bite them in half and kill them. No. Are right, the snakes dying? I don't think any of the snakes have died. I think we're winning. Oh, yeah. Numbers game is starting to come over to my side. Bro? Bro? Snakes? Snakes? Please? It's over. That's fine, that's fine, because that was also a goof one, because obviously everyone knew the best enemies to fight these guys would be huge men. Okay, huge guys, let's get in there. Look at the scale difference. Look at that. These, they simply, the rhinos don't stand a chance. The headbutt. They just, that one just broke that rhinoceros's fucking neck. It died standing up. Oh my god, he just broke that polar bear's back in one punch. I heard a crack. Huge man rises again. Pick him up and break him. Oh my god. Well, the huge man wins. Mm, Machimosaurus Rex. Eh, kind of like just a stupid looking crocodile. Like a funny little flail. Just wiggles. They, they are kind of fun. Animals suck mankind rules. Oh yeah? Do you think you could handle one of these fucking gators? If animals suck so look, I'm a mankind. I I relate to all humans. But um I wouldn't want to go up against one of these things. Look at this one. It's still spinning. Look at what, look at this, look at this gaping maw that this guy just got his weird, like, head, like, nub stuck in. He's having the worst day right now. He just, he just got, he just got his mouth, his head in the worst spot. He lived. Are you dead? He made a sound. I think he's just hanging out. Are you gonna die too? can't hit one, they're all just bonking him with the, the, their weird horn things. Oh, they're just walking all over him. Oh, he got tired. And then killed. Right there. Well, one of them was good. But you see what this guy needs? Is some of these weird looking cows. Which are like super cows. I'm sorry, what did they just do? Just breathe fire? Oh yeah, try fucking charging at this thing and see what happens, asshole. Yeah, that was a big fucking mistake. Yeah, now this changes the game. Gator still alive? Gator still alive? This is going well. I don't really know how well, though. I just think it's going a little... Uh, it's not going very well. It's not. But the gate is still alive. 
Seems like these cows are not very good. They get some kills though. Okay, no, hang on, it's not over yet. It's not over yet. The cow is in. It's just the cow versus his big. Oh. It's not over yet, it's still alive. Cow's still alive. Cow just breathed on this thing so hard it fucking died. It just, it just bad breath and it died. Next to this plant. Embarrassing. I don't know what that thing was, but badass. Um, this is like the worst, all the worst monsters in the world. Fuck, fuck you. Eat them all, kill them. Yes, yes my child. Devour them all! Feast! Feast on them! Yes, consume! When do I get to get my self-insert character in these fights? I lost. <laughs> I lost again, man. What the frick? Didn't even use all my money though, to be fair, so. Obviously, what we need to help with this fight is some, uh, some werewolves. Some werewolves. <laughs> Look at them furry running all the way to those guys and getting completely trampled down and destroyed. Wow, look at that trail of blood. And the hippos want some. <laughs> the hippos are getting involved, folks. I think the werewolves were casually deposited into these bushes to die. Yeah. That was bad. Yeah, the werewolves are not good, but you know what is good? Birds. Birds. Hang on, I got, I got a text I have to read. I've been invited to a very ominous call for a prescription medication I have now. And I'm just sitting here like, huh? <laughs> Why am I getting invited to like text call? I, the, 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 the prescription company wants to have a talk with me about my prescription but it's in the most ominous way possible. Oh yeah, I'd like to see you charge your way out of this one, asshole. <laughs> Look at all that blood. The wyvern will survive. Wait, wouldn't this be so easy if I just, the Hydra sucks. End the battle. Hydra, get the fuck out of here. Many birds. Take off, grab one, throw them off a cliff. These guys have, these are melee. There's no range, so it should be a piece of cake. Just dump them into the fucking abyss. Dump them into the abyss, grab another, keep doing it until we win. Easy. Like, yeah, what are you gonna do? What will you possibly do? Yes. 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 Yeah, it looks like, yeah, uh, they got, they somehow, this one, this fuck up actually managed to die. That one also managed to die. Are they getting hit while they're, like, dragging them out? I guess, depending on where they grab. Oh, that one's, that one's going for two at a time, man. Look, we've still got three of these birds. Dude. I just don't feel like fighting anymore. Guys, just drop him. Just drop him. Just let him down, let him down. So 
over. The elephants came. The elephants arrived at the battlefield. Wow. The elephants really, like, if you look at them from, like, a side angle, they look like fucking idiots. <laughs> I'm gonna be honest. Front angle? Kind of scary if you can get past their butt head. But, from the side? <laughs> They just kind of stupid looking. Matter of fact, I would argue most most animals look like fucking idiots. <laughs> this one just looks normal. He's pogging. I don't care. I'd like to see how elephants handle... Look, elephants kill humans all the time just by casually walking over them. I'd like to see how these elephants handle fighting an actual big boy. What are the giraffes even gonna do, man? They can't do... They're like just giraffes. They've dispatched all the small threats. The huge men are coming in from behind. They're getting involved. They're just punching these giraffes. Oh, Jesus Christ, the giraffe's neck. It's over. Huge men easily capable of defeating giraffes in single combat. What did you think was gonna fucking happen, you stupid mammal? It's a bloodbath. Yeah, it's over. It's over. Okay, I think I'm gonna do some sandbox, some proper sandbox. I think I'm gonna do proper sandbox now. I think that'd be fun. So we can like get some like one on one. See what see what really matches what. So uh, hang on, how do I set my like landscape? Because this place is depressing. We will fight on the battlefield of Sparse Wasteland. Wow, there's a lot more than I thought there would be. Our first battle of the night, folks, is, of course, going to be Brave Salmon versus we gotta start easy. Brave Salmon versus... Me! Tomato Gaming! Me, Tomato Gaming, in the... I'm gonna... I'm uploading my brain into the video game. I've got a USB plug plugged right... into my ear. I'm gonna jack it in. Here I go. Help, I, I can't get in. It doesn't seem like it wants to let me. Click on it and press F. Yeah, yeah. Does it only work if it's the team one? It might need to be the team one. Well, that fish is pretty fucking fast for one that's not in, uh... You know, the actual... Water. Team two. Yeah, I had. <laughs> I didn't spawn a weapon for myself. Chat. Out. It does twenty damage a hit. Weapon. This isn't fair if I don't have a weapon. Hang on. Let me spawn a reasonable weapon for myself. There. End of the line, you salmon freak.
He doesn't have one. He has his teeth. All right, that's... All right, 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 all right. Team three is... Team one is going to always be... My character, so I can, you know, insert myself. You know? I'm gonna... Because I, I like being able to get involved. Actually, no, no, no. We'll just... We'll add him when I want him. Uh, I kind of want to see... I kind of want to see how the how the mutant megalodon. She's pretty big. Goes up against you know, everyone. Everyone's been asking. Everyone's been asking about how the mutant megalodon does against NFTs. Uh, hype. Let's see if a mutant megalodon can handle the concept of non-fungible tokens. He just summoned a Bitcoin attack, and it doesn't look like the Bitcoin's really doing much to stop the... Doesn't look like cryptocurrency really matters to the megalodon at all. It doesn't look like he has a crypto wallet. Of any kind. The Megalodon has activated. Oh, it looks like it's all over, folks. <laughs> NFT guy, and he's been devoured. Doesn't I don't think he, I don't think he ever did anything. I don't think he did damage to the. Me and there he goes. There goes my hero. Not even edible. <laughs> The mutant megalodon, yeah, got a taste and was just like, ah, no. I don't want it. Let me get, hang on. So we, we got some other, we got some. I actually saw this in the workshop and I was like, this looks ridiculously large scale. How big is... All right, chat, so let's see how uh, the Tara this is matches against it. He fell. He fell off the hook, he slipped. And <laughs> he slipped and died. That's like, that was like 18 billion dollars of taxpayer money to build the Taurodithus, one of the most powerful dinosaurs in the entire world. Spawn another one, this time perfectly centered so that its heavy tail doesn't just... Dude, do something about your tail, lift it! Hold it up! Let's see how the Taurodithus goes up against everyone's favorite being. Everyone, everyone's favorite little guy. You know him and you love it. It's the Komodo dragon. Let's see how the Komodo dragon handles the Taradithus. And Tardithus has fallen back off of the map again. Uh, their tail is just is just too big. D summon the Tardithus. Get that guy out of here. Komodo Dragon is going to be versus. Look, Komodo Dragon's going to be versus something of my own creation. I'm tired of playing around. It's time to create the perfect being. I'm going to start with the base of human legs. Yes. You, Chat. It's no different than a Ken doll. All right? It, it, it truly is simply a base for a human... Uh, like, for human legs. I'd like to see how the human legs handle the... Let's see if the Komodo dragon can defeat legs of the humankind. The legs are kicking. Legs are twisting. Legs are twisting really hard. Whoa. Okay, so Komodo dragon is stronger than just legs. We now know. Is Komodo Dragon stronger than leg 
with uh with gorilla head is komodo dragon stronger than leg with gorilla gorilla head is is the question i now have to ask Nah, i'm obviously really talking i'm gonna be adding a plasma t-rex laser beam to the legs Let's see if the Komodo Dragon is more powerful than a T-Rex with plasma laser beams, but it can only aim up. Come on! The, 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 he's coming! Oh, Jesus Christ! Nature can be so disgusting and cruel. Oh my god. Okay, so it looks like a Komodo dragon is not powerful enough to defeat a uh, human-legged T-Rex head with lasers. But, let's see if a Komodo dragon is powerful enough to beat that threat if we added some kind of weapon to the T-Rex. I am, of course, talking about a boxing glove head. Let's see if the Komodo dragon can beat this one. <laughs> One clean hit's all he needs. Oh, did you hear that slap? Komodo Dragon's still alive! Ooh. We just got a call from Komodo Dragon's family. He's dropping out of the fight. Uh, he's actually, he's, uh, he's dropping out. We're going to be replacing him with a new fighter. He has to be okay, right? <laughs> yeah, chat. Komodo Dragon's fine. <laughs> Komodo Dragon Chan is fine, chat. Komodo, Komodo Dragon's fine. How strong is a wild hog? Many people ask this. strong as a single wild hog how how tough is it wild hog pretty strong right is wild hog as strong as human leg <laughs> is, is wild hog as strong as cube is wild hog as strong as the cube Animals are so fucking stupid. This hog has no fucking idea. It's just a fucking cube. It can't die. It's a cube. It died. <laughs> the cube didn't have a life. It was. It was a. It was an object. It doesn't have a. It doesn't have a soul. It can't. It doesn't. It doesn't die. How did? How did we lose? <laughs> How did the how did the cube lose? Uh, okay, so we've confirmed that hog is stronger than cube, but is hog stronger than cube with face of man? How, is hog stronger than cube with face of face of man? Yes. We already know the answer is yes, so we don't need to do that. Obviously, the human man's body doesn't... It, no, that doesn't make him any stronger. But, uh, I'll tell you what will. Okay. I'll tell you what will make him stronger. We just have to give him an arm. It, let, would you say that... Hog could handle Cube with, with arm? Yes, with hand for punch, yes.
Can Hog handle our cube with arm to punch at Hog? Get fucked! Get fucked! Get out of here, you stupid animal! Woo! It's as simple as that, man! Don't ever come back! Hog has lost! Which means now we pick the next animal that we believe may be able to beat Cube with arm. I have a question. I kinda... You guys, do you think a, uh... I think a piranha could beat... Cube with arm? Like, j I don't think so. But maybe piranha beat Cube with arm. Piranha is still alive! Piranha's mobile! He's in his blind spot! Oh, the cube with arm can't do fucking anything if he's in that blind spot! Oh my god, it's a totally different game this time, folks! Piranha, in fact, cannot beat cube with arm. So we move on. We just learned today that Piranha cannot beat cube with arm. So now we have to realistically escalate to the next level. Uh, hey. Hey, y'all. Y'all think a lava golem could beat cube with an arm? Y'all think a lava golem could beat cube with arm? Cube with arm versus golem from the hell realms. I believe in you. Let's see what happens next. They're punching. They're punching. It seems that cube with arm has lost the fight. Which means now we have to escalate the cube with arm. <sighs> I know a lot of people are really excited that cube with arm might stand a chance. But unfortunately, we have to get rid of the arm now. Chat. Y'all think cube with... Y'all think cube with wings... Might be able to win this fight. Because I'm thinking Cube with Wing and Gorilla Arm might be able to win this fight. Go, my creation. Fly! Fly, my creation. Fly! He's got him by the arm. Oh, my God. Have I escalated too far too fast? Cool. I think, I think Cube could win this. <laughs> this, this is not cool looking. This is just kind of gross. Can I just get kind of? There it is, there's our cube. People said that the cube wasn't relatable enough. So we decided to add some new parts to the cube to make it more visually distinct. And here's what we came up with. Hang What do we add to Cube to make him powerful enough to kill this monster?
Of course. How could I have been so foolish? Simply give him a rocket launcher. The audience have repeatedly confirmed with me that they dislike the fact that the cube has lost fights. Which is why we have added multiple rocket launchers to the cube. In place of where his arm would have been if we still had arms to add. It's not dead yet! Oh, it's dead. The cube has won. So now the question really does, the, it begs the question, what could defeat a cube at this level? Could it perhaps be, uh, you know, Godzilla? It, perhaps Godzilla could defeat the cube. Maybe. Maybe. Maybe, maybe Godzilla defeat Cube? Godzilla technically costs less than Cube does. Believe it or not, Godzilla costs $714. Cube costs $905. Cube is a more expensive being. Therefore, more powerful. Let's see if God... Let's see if Godzilla can defeat Cube. Because Cube have missile. Cube... Cube's full of so much hate. I feel like it's going to be difficult for Godzilla to defeat the cube. What with the distance he has to travel. Cube? Cube? Cube! By God, I got cut in half! Oh! His relatable mask and helmet and glasses meant nothing. We are un... Audiences have confirmed that they actually hated Cube. They hated looking at Cube. Audiences have confirmed they like animals. They like animals and they want to see more animal style things in the game. Which is why we will now be adding a new being. Uh, we'll be adding a, a fun new creature uh, to the game. Well, we're going back to basics. I hate knowing that this thing has junk. I just hate knowing that it has junk. You know what I mean? Like, I hate knowing it has a bulge. Any better options? We've asked audiences and therefore gone back to basics. People did not like knowing that the creature had a, a junk. Wait, no. People are saying that they like the junk. People are saying they love the junk. People are saying they love it. Okay, well, then we're in. We're going to do it. All right. Uh, chat, I have a question. Could, uh, you think, um... You think something like this could defeat, uh, you know, Godzilla? Ape strong? <laughs> ape. Ape strong! Go, ape, go! Okay, we're gonna, it's gonna take a lot to escalate all the way back up to Gorilla now. It's gonna be a little bit. It's gonna be a little bit. So, Ape going to add, uh, let's, hang on, let me just, we're going to need to give Ape more options. It's like ARMS, it's like, it's just like the, it's just like the popular Nintendo franchise ARMS, really. It's it really I could I could have, I can imagine this in my mind's eye the black void that's my mind's eye where all I see is this gorilla duking it out with Kirby like I I could imagine this sort of cracking open you know the abyss all the like all the characters from Smash live in and like it's not Minecraft Steve or Sora this time it's a uh, gorilla an un, a never announced character from the Arms franchise. Let's see how he does against Godzilla. He, I didn't even get the chance to fucking pan over before he was dead. That time. Turns out Gorilla bleeds, too. 
Hey, Tomato, results just came back. The kid's like wheels more than legs. Yeah, be fucking kidding me. Results are in. People are saying they like the wheels. People are saying they actually love the wheels. People are saying they want wheels with like gor People say they want robot. No, no, no. People are saying they want small guy body. Small guy body. <laughs> When does my show get canceled? That's what I'm wondering because I keep getting, I keep peep the 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 market keeps giving me money. They keep encouraging this behavior. I keep I keep doing these crimes to these living things, and they keep saying more money, take more of our money, keep doing whatever it is you want to do. I say, are you sure? And they say, oh yes. How? The que truly the question is, though, do all of you think this could take down Godzilla? It's got wheels that can move much faster than it used to, and it has this scary hammer. It has a scary hammer. Matter of fact, it has... It's going to have two scary hammers. Now that, right there, is not finished yet. Please. Bad ace. No, that's bad ace. Test audiences love him. That's the thing. Test audiences fucking love this guy. Like, uh, we've already got- we've already got merch coming out for this thing. Like, people love him. People love him. People absolutely love this freak. It's genuinely one of the best characters we've ever come up with. And let's see how- well, we've put a lot of speed into that- into that- that wheel, too. Oh, no. Our money's all fucking gone. We spent all of it on him. <laughs> Cancel the merch quick. We already spent all of it. No, undo. Undo, I have a plan. I have a plan. I want to edit the wheels I already ha Okay, you can't actually do that. Okay. I want to make sure I couldn't, like, make them faster. Maybe I can. Just... Maybe we can. The problem is, audiences are getting bored by the fact that we have yet to see any of our monsters reach Godzilla. So perhaps with a jet engine, stuff will be different. People are complaining that perhaps the reason that Godzilla is still winning is because we haven't taken into account safety first. You're right, we haven't. Till now. Things are going to be different now. These guns are going to be protected. At all costs. This isn't about money anymore. It's not about, it's not about making the audiences happy. It's about winning. It's about doing what's got to be done. People need a win. And I intend to give it to them. 
I intend to give it to him, all right. Even if I gotta load up this poor bastard with so much d, &D it causes a fucking miniature nuclear winter on this side of the planet. I'll do whatever it takes to kill that bastard. Do whatever it takes. Godzilla's gotta die. One way or another, Godzilla's gotta die. Demon Wolf, 003, your gifted subs means you con you con you actively condone this behavior. You approve. Good. Thanks for the five gifted subs. It's time. I didn't even get the chance to... <laughs> Dude, that's it, man. That's it, man. That's it. Audiences are saying they just want it to be over with. This guy's been alive for too long. That's fine. Fine, you're right. People say they really like the spider. I'm, I'm doing this quick. Don't worry, this is going to be different than the others. People... I just... Just need a big fucking platform. Like so. Yes. Yes, we need a platform. We have to fight f Godzilla fire with Godzilla fire. That's why this time... If Godzilla's gonna push us like this, well then fine. We'll push him back. Fine. He wants to play he wants to play hardball. Fine. Play hardball. Oh. Oh, we'll play hardball. All of you. I need all of your power. The only way to defeat Godzilla's one laser is by adding multiple lasers to ours. So many that it's impossible for him to survive the attack. We have created a monstrosity. Go, my son! I cannot fucking believe how fast Godzilla's draw is or how big he is. Isn't like there a fucking law like in physics about that? Like his heart, he shouldn't be able to move his, he shouldn't be able, shouldn't be able to process what's happening that fast. <laughs> I have an idea. Audiences won't notice this, so it's going to be okay. We're going to add a single gorilla into this bush over here. We're bringing back the cube. People want throwbacks in this show. That's why we're going to add a dynamic third team to the game. Over here. And everyone knows who it's going to be. You all know who it's going to be. It's going to be it's going to be cube with an arm. It's everyone's favorite guy. It's going to be cube with one arm. Godzilla is now Seriously hit both with one attack. <laughs> Godzilla is the strongest fucking thing ever. I don't even know if we're strong enough to kill him because we can't hit him. Maybe that was a fluke. Do it again. Did we destroy ourselves that time? Hang on. Uh, hi, I have a question. <laughs> hi, I have a question. How many wild boars do you think it takes to uh, kill a uh, Godzilla? How, how many hogs?
Let's say 200. Let's say 200 hogs is enough to defeat the Godzilla. And the arm while they're at. You made a big fucking mistake fucking with me, you little bastard! Devour him, my children! Feast on him before my computer breaks down! God, it's like ants. They didn't ask for this. Oh, you could see the FPS raise the second he killed 90% of them in one attack. They're not all dead yet. One lone hog lives on. He got kicked. That's it. Okay, that's it. That's it. I have an idea. But you're not gonna like it. Why? Am I fighting him like this when everyone knows all we need to win is get a real gamer down there? You know what I mean? A real gamer. With like a pulse blaster. They missed. They fucking instantly messed up big time. It's all coming down to me, dude. Hey chat, I got a fucking question. How many uh, Kazarog, the demon lords, do you think it takes to kill a fucking Godzilla? Probably not more than 11. You gotta be fucking kidding me, not even one reached him. And what the fuck is Cube doing? That's it, man. You made me do it. I'm gonna have to summon the scourge of death upon ye. You know, guys, I'm starting to think that Godzilla might just have a really strong... Wait. Idea. Why? It's so simple. Why didn't I think of it? We've been fighting on the ground, which is his domain. Where, whereas where we actually need to fight is not on the ground. It's in the sky, baby. It's in the sky, baby. Go, oh, my birds, devour him! They fucking apparently can impale themselves on his scales. So that's not an option. Dude, I'm like sad, like I don't know how to beat him. Yeah, I'll show him. All right, boys. <laughs> he can't kill all of us if we run at him. He missed. He fucked up! It's happening! Oh my god. I can't even see his health bar. That's it. I mean, that's it. There's only one thing that exists that's strong enough to beat him. And it's the Tarothidus. We created this thing with a, the help of a lot of scientists. And we wanted to ask, what could possibly be stronger than Godzilla? We've been, this guy's been holding the ratings hostage for this show for years because we can't legally kick him off, according to his contract. What we can do is escalate in such an obscenely ridiculous degree that it's physically impossible for him to beat it. Let's see what happens next.
It looks like the Godzilla somehow did an attack that hurt my uh, guy so bad he blew up a little. Godzilla's dead. He's dead! It's over! Oh no. Fuck, the people are saying. Now the. The dang studios say that now we legally have to field the Taratha. This is on the enemy team. Well, chat. What do you think has a better chance of winning? One Komodo dragon. Or one. Taratha da Taratha. Let's get this party started. It looks like the Komodo dragon is confused what's happening. Oh, these might be on the same team. Oh, that's probably why he's okay right now. That's pro that's a good that's a good reason why he would be okay right now. Uh, now let's see if he's okay. Now, now the Komodo dragon is not on the same team as anyone else. Let's see if he does okay. Where'd my what happened to my cube? All right, the show's canceled. Apparently, that means that we're, we can now cancel the show. So, uh, uh, we're keeping all of the money. We're going off the grid. A tie means we get to cancel the whole thing. Forever. Show's canned. They don't, they don't want it anymore. They canceled the show. <laughs> this game is so much better than I thought it would be, though. Like, as we get close to me wrapping up here, as a result, of, obviously, I told you guys, uh, my throat's pretty crusty right now. So, uh, I don't really, I can't really go much longer. But, um, much better than I fucking thought it would be. Let's see if one dragon can defeat a collection, just as like a finale thing here. If one real true dragon can defeat an army of... 75 funny, gor like, gorillas. They didn't die! The dragon's gonna have to do more than that to stop these gorillas, chat! Once plugged up the fire hole... It begins. The survivors fight on. Okay, they lost. Well, chat, that's... Animal Revolt. That's Animal Revolt Battle Simulator. I hope you had fun today. Sorry I can't go very long tonight. Uh, but I have a pretty nasty throat cold that's getting me feeling a little bit uh, unable to do stream for long. So I'll be back tomorrow at 3 p.m. at GST. The usual time. Thank you if you donated gifted subs bits or anything. I appreciate it a ton. As always, this game was $15. Uh, pretty fucking good. Pretty good value for that. Uh, I get why it's reviews are so high. This, I think I enjoyed this. I like the concept of this more than tabs, I think. And I like tabs a lot. I like this one's got a lot. The customization thing is awesome. And I know tabs has like some of that, but uh, I actually genuinely preferred. I prefer the con. The tabs has more watchability and functions better. But this one, this one was unique. I like this one for how unique it was. Uh, for sure, for sure. Anyways, chat. Penguin Vagabond, thanks for the 100 bits. 200 bits. Thank you. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. Battle Wrench, thanks for the 100 bits as well. Rowan the Bishop, thanks for the 1,000 bits. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Wibbit, thanks for... Uh, wait a minute. You didn't gift me subs. The legendary one person that resubscribes that I've read a year. Congratulations to you. What I meant to say was McGoat da Elite. Thanks for the 15, 17 gifted subs. Thanks. Fat Anon, thanks for the 100 bits. They asked me if I've changed my opinion on Digimon. No, I hate them. Colt is lit to the tit. Thanks for the gifted sub as well. Dog Brain, gifting a sub. Thanks. Seventh Son, thanks for the five gifted subs. Thank you, thank you, thank you. The IRS official gifting one bit to the channel. <laughs> IRS. Thank you. Thank you so much. Anyways, I'm going to get out of here because uh, if they're around, I just don't, I, I just don't really feel like it. You know what I mean? Chat. Uh, that was probably my, that was probably literally my tax refund. 
Uh, that's all I got. So, happy tax day, everyone. I will see you all tomorrow at 3 p.m. Thank you for watching. Have a good night. Goodbye. 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 Goodbye.